What's happened? No, I'm full as in like I am honestly full from the curry. Like Oh right, from the curry that you made. Oh, I didn't know what you were talking about. You just said I'm full. I was like, Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? And you went, I'm full, bro. Oh, like, like full that's, literally what, the, <laughs> that's literally the only thing I'm thinking about right now. Like my my brain is thinking about my stomach, so <laughs> Yeah, honestly, yeah, that's it. That's and it. And I wish it didn't. Isn't that the worst case that when you eat too much and you're just like you're ready to sleep? Oh yeah, like my the thing is when I was cooking it because it was like ginger and garlic and onions when you put them in the <laughs> frying pan. Honestly, my eyes my eyes were burning, bro. It was that's good if you've got a cold. That sounds like as if that was it, uh, it does help. <laughs> uh, an organic nose congestion deblogging, you know, just like it's get that sort of airway going straight all the way up. It's deblogged for sure. I'm all the way up. That's the word, right? Deblogged, but uh, it, it is for the it sake of this podcast. It, it's exactly what it is, bro. We make up words here. We do all kinds of shit on this podcast. <laughs> What's going it's on with it? Like ream and shit can make it on the dictionary. I'm sure deblogged can be on there as well. Yeah, ream and what was the other one? Riz was the other one? Riz, know, some some shit like that, like some fucking urban. What the hell is Riz, by the way? What is that? Can can you can someone explain to me what Riz is? Oh, he's risen over there. I don't know what that means. What does that even mean, by the way? When like how would you even use it? Um, I tell you what, Riz means to me means uh, rolling papers. You know the Rizzlers. I shot as the Riz, mate. Do you know what I mean? That's what it means to me. I don't know what. Right, okay. <laughs> I, I don't have even no know idea. how you would use it. I've never heard it to be honest with you. Riz, yeah, it's it's like uh, it's what the kids are using nowadays, Rick. You know, we're, we're getting old, man. We're getting old, apparently. You know, when I apparently. first met my wife, she used the word Gucci. I like, oh, oh, I'm Gucci. I think we were taking the piss of like, well, it's like we're having a oh, conversation okay, now. Okay. And then she went Gucci and I was like, don't you mean I'm good G? Thinking as if he's trying to be street and like some sort of a 50 cent get rich or die try and try to be street. something like that. And she went, no, Gucci. And I was like, nah, Gucci is not a word. Googled and it turns out the kids today use, yeah, I'm Gucci. And like, yeah, I'm all right. I'm sound. I'm pretty good. How are you? Gucci. Like, good, no, no, Gucci is in like no, no, Gucci. I, I, that's what I'm saying. But like, it makes okay, sense Gucci. for it to be yeah. good G, right? That's well again. Gucci. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I actually Gucci. thought it was the whole. Wow, that is uh, yeah, it, that's yeah, mad. Yeah, by the way, like, just flipping like you think he's like, what the fuck does that? Some other yeah, there's some other words like simp. Do you know what I mean? When did we start shortening the word simple to simp? By the way, can we just never heard that fucking why? Never heard that one before. Simp. Oh, yeah, simp. Yeah. Oh, he's, that guy's a simp, isn't it? But I think simp. it's you. So it's used in in the context of, for example, right? When uh, when a guy like you know, on, on Instagram, you some people comment on like on on Instagram models, like you know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, photos yeah. and stuff, and they go, "Oh, you saw so hot," or blah blah blah, and then everyone else in the comments like, "That guy's a simp." Do you know what I mean? It's like that right. guy's a, it's that almost guy's like a loser. Is like, it always like is it always for a guy, never for a girl? I've never again. I don't know enough about it. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So I, w- I just want to avoid the feminism. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I want to avoid the feminism right, no, and mascul- no, masculinity shit around here. So. No, because I was thinking about this. Obviously, you know, I've told you before, due to have a baby, and uh, I was talking to somebody at work about it. They're like, "Oh, how long are you going to get off?" I was like, oh, "I'm going to take the full, t- full paternity." They're like, "Oh, how long do you get?" All excited. I was like, two, two weeks." weeks. <laughs> she went, "What?" And I was like, yeah, it's two weeks. She's like, no. And I was like, they don't really give a fuck about dads. As long as the mom's okay, they, they really, if it does, like, yeah, get back to work. Yeah, Nobody can afford it. paid you paternity leave, bro. Just get back. Imagine, yeah, I was going to say nine, obviously the mother and the father can't take nine months. Or however, however how, how, how long is maternity it's leave? It's about nine months. Nine months. Like with, uh, I think that depends on the companies you work for. But yeah, right. normally it's like nine cents salary, 100% for a certain period. And then it's statutory pay, which is like BS. Like, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Okay. I don't know, like, and I don't even know how much it is to be fair. But even for that thing in the two weeks, it depends how good the company is. Because normally it's like one week full salary, second week statutory pay. And you think to yourself, fuck oh, you know, like everything I've point. done for you, like, are you even going to give me a full salary for like get, for two weeks? Know, that's two weeks. Jesus we're so Christ. Two weeks. One week I already earn it. Second yeah, yeah, yeah. week. That they're trying to bet. So it's literally a week then, basically. That's what you're saying. It's, it's basically a week. a week. And the second week, I think it's like £145 for the week or some shit like that. Like if you're if you're over in the states, like two hundred dollars. <laughs> Shit, did and, you see my face drop? By the way, that's well, that's, that's, be, that's a reaction to what you've just said. <laughs> it, it, it genuinely don't give a fuck about fathers. I'm telling you, because sometimes I say it's not even about the money. Of course, in this day and age with inflation and everybody struggling across the globe, you think to yourself, right? Okay, it is about money. I need the money as well. But like, you think yeah. two weeks? Like fucking hell! Like your baby's born. What, what is two weeks, bro? What is two weeks? There's nothing. God, nothing. that is awful, by the way. Uh, yeah, exactly. But no, fuck it. As, and uh, I was going to say, but I've changed the screen to this because I've got balloons here because we had our little one's birthday not so long ago, like uh, 10 days ago or something like mm. that. 
and the balloons were up last time we did the episode and now we're looking to upcycle them to somebody else they said oh can we have them for so-and-so's birthday we're like yeah definitely you can have them for her birthday so they're still here in the office bedroom mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. literally a helium balloons here and there and normal balloons and all this other bs so yeah just fuck excellent just, uh, excellent yeah. yeah i mean to be fair it looks quite bright where you are so yeah. <laughs> It's quite nice. It's quite nice and bright. There we go. There we go. No background. There we go. Hello. Right. Okay. Yeah. I can see what you're saying. I see what you're saying now. Yeah. I get you. I get you. (laughs) That's a lot of balloons, bro. I'm not going to lie. That looks like a card factory out there. Exactly. Looking like a card factory. You get an arch. uh, Like the arch. Sorry. The arc. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, we've got the for the little one we've done it every, every year to be fair and she loves it and we love it and the pictures and so on and so forth and just yeah, I was saying to my wife like who's heavily pregnant I was like should we just leave it not bother she's like nah and then she went yeah I'm not going to do it turn up from work on a Friday I was like oh nice to see that you haven't done it yeah so it's it's <laughs> clearly, clearly not done yeah yeah <laughs> clearly not done no 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 what do you want me to do <laughs> <laughs> nothing it's like sound <laughs> oh my god that is honestly like yeah but well, you can't argue you can't argue right Friday, the last thing you're thinking of is like doing stuff. You're thinking, like, oh, just let me just get home. I'm tired. Let me have some dinner, yeah, yeah, yeah. rest, see the family, do something together. And then I come in, I'm like, right, okay, let's get this shit done then. But yeah, we anyway, have to blow balloons, have... apparently. Yeah, we have to blow a balloon. Yeah, so we've got a machine. We've got a machine. Amazon. That's all right. That's okay. That's good. That's good. <laughs> we primed that shit. Just arrived the next day. Like, but yeah, anyway, fuck it. Fuck it. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. So it's been a good week. Then, it's been a good week. No, to be fair, bro, it's been all right. Yes, not been too bad. Work-wise, family life-wise, has been all right. Football-wise, has been. No, 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 not this week. Yeah, I took a break from stocking this week. Uh, next week, I will carry on with the uh, regular schedule program. My uniform arrives. All black. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, okay, that's the reason why I, did, I couldn't stock this week is because I had to put all my black stuff in the wash. Right. So it was a bit too late by the time yeah, they got yeah, they got yeah. dried and stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, left I think, part in the rain. Yeah, I think I think I think another visit is needed. <laughs> <laughs> Try. To, I have words with case. it. Yeah, just in case, you know, because it, it it seemed to work for like at least two weeks in a row, or two matches yeah, in a row, it yeah, worked. Yeah, yeah. And then and I then think he, just... I think he got a bit complacent. He was like, you know, he took me for granted a little bit. He was like, oh, he's going to be here again. But no, I really wasn't. So, uh, good luck with that, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, it's uh, it's been a good week, man. Obviously, first week, first week at the new job, um, it was it's been busy, so it, it's just flown by. It actually it's flown by, which is quite good because that's what you want. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. But uh, but yeah, apart from that, literally just you know getting into the into the routine of you know work home, work home, and that's pretty much yeah. that's pretty much yeah. it really. But you know, it's been it's is been it? all right. It's it's been cozy here. It's been cozy. Do, so. do you guys get a break up for summer holidays or not? Uh, summer holidays, sorry, Christmas holiday, New Year, whatever it is. So whatever I, we're calling it now, because winter, winter break, Christmas winter break, break whatever. Yeah, I think break, it's an yeah. inclusive call, the winter break, not a Christmas that's break. Called a winter break, yeah. Which is uh, which is yeah, you're right. It is the inclusive side of things. But uh, yeah, I think uh, no, we break up on the 21st and then I think I'll be back <laughs> not Annie but I'll be back on the 28th uh, 27th sorry alright okay that was a fly by the way what you just saw me do I that I didn't know fly. what you were doing yeah yeah I was just catching I was just <laughs> got it no. <laughs> I thought somebody's in the background trying to give you a high five so I'm like well done you remembered your date 21st I'll be back 27th high five well done Martin okay, yes. flies. I've got to be it's actually locked in my basement <laughs> <laughs> you just came up for a cheeky high vibe. Just that's all it is. Appreciate that's all it was. Um, <laughs> all right. So we're gonna do then. You go and see the family, or um, you can also you stay, or they're coming to you. It all depends on the wife if she is on call for the wife. If she's on call for the uh, for the times that I'm off, yeah, yeah, yeah. then obviously I can't really go anywhere. But in that in that case, I think they'll probably come down. But uh, either way, I think New Year's. You know, if we don't go Christmas, then we'll go New Year's. So yeah, yeah. So it should be. It should be all right. Well, we can meet up. We can meet up. No, no, I'm not going anywhere. No, no. Like I said, you're oh, expecting, you yeah, you expecting yeah. numero yeah. dos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, going to be a family of cuatro. So yeah, therefore, then just going to end good. up staying uh, staying down south. I don't even know if my mum and dad can come down. To be fair, as well, work and other commitments and so on. So, but hopefully yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah. But either way, like we're tired, you know, with FaceTime and Skype and all these other video. That's it. That's it. Video calling devices, it's it's pretty sweet. So they can, it's not yeah, like the same, Skype you know, business. Now, this Skype business that we're doing Skype right business. now, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. 
No, it's all right, but we can meet up, though. We can do something, because obviously I'll break up 21st as well. I've got a half day. Oh, perfect. perfect. Maybe 22nd, the missus is away at work. Yeah, the missus at work. She's at work here. She's at work on the 22nd. I think that's when probably her on-call starts, because that was the whole plan. Like, you know, I finished on 21st. She could finish on the 22nd, like, you know, in the afternoon, and then we'll just mm-hmm. drive uh, late evening. Straight up, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, it all depends. So, but it all depends, yeah. So she's going to find out tomorrow. But, you know, like you said, man, you know, with, yeah, with FaceTime and WhatsApp no, calling no, and shit like that, exactly. Exactly. You know, But it's nice, though, to be fair, bro. Now that you get, for me, I really enjoyed it. Well, obviously, before, even with the little one, we didn't enjoy that kind of finish on a Friday. Just pack the car up and let's then, just drive up for the weekend and yeah, come yeah. back down. Do you know what I mean? Like, leave at seven, eight o'clock at night. Baby's asleep. Straight, straight on that straight down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight on that motorway, just like flying away. It got to the point where at one point we were driving and, uh, I don't know, I was doing 70, 10%, 77 miles an hour. And then uh, as we were driving along, and my missus goes like, I don't know, which for a while, she was like, can we not get there any quicker? And I was like, this is, I'm kind of doing 77. Like, I'm allowed 10%. I'm doing yeah, 77 yeah, yeah. miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. Legally, of course, like, of course. Yeah, legally, absolutely. Of course, of course. Of I course, can't course. go much faster than this. No, the car will not physically let you go any faster than that. No, that's that's not. That's it. That's, that's it. It's, all it's, 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 it's illegal to go limit. over. It's, it's illegal to go over. Absolutely. We're good yeah. citizens. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you know what that reminded me? Sorry, real quick. Do you know what that reminded me of? Do you remember the episode of Top Gear when they went to America with the uh, when uh, James was driving the Blue Aston? Yeah, yeah, And you could see this. You could clearly hear the car revving. <laughs> you could clearly hear the car over revving, and this guy is going 35 miles an hour all the time. It's it was that was hilarious the first time I watched that. That's what it reminded me of. You know, we've we've got we've got a bit of following behind us, so I didn't want to kind of jeopardize myself and a penalty notice coming through. So yeah, I was sticking to the speed limit, bro. <laughs> That's what I was doing. 77 mile an hour that's it that's it that's all you need to go that's as fast as uh, you know we can go like i said the cars are limited to that so it also reminds me of jensen button when he got on top gear and they were doing uh he's got a bugatti and he tried to sell the Bugatti. you know like oh wait oh oh nine maybe ten yeah, jensen yeah, yeah. came on he's like you've got a bugatti and he's like yeah, yeah yeah what's wrong with it he's like i can't tell you what's wrong with it because i'm trying to sell it and he goes so what's the fastest you've been on it he goes like 70 10 percent 77 is the fastest <laughs> i've been yeah <laughs> You can't though. How can you answer that like on live on air or live anyway? You can't. You, know? you, can't. Yeah. you know they're digging through. The, you know they're digging through the, them absolutely. tickets, right? <laughs> absolutely. You see these rappers, little little something, always going to yeah. jail because they're all talk- little. By the way, they're all they're little. All that's little. why they're, that's they're not it. mature enough. They're not mature enough to understand. I'm, they're all I'm little. I'm surprised little Wayne is still little Wayne. I'm, I'm not even, he's not even Wayne, he he and, and I shouldn't really be messing with Wayne. I love Wayne, by the way. Love I love Wayne. Yeah, same, same. But like he hasn't grown up here, bro. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Come on, little. I mean, at least call yourself little, little right? rather than little, right? Tune, right? Do you remember that lollipop tune that came out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the yeah, beat yeah. of that lollipop tune. I'm that just thinking of it now. 07, I think it was, wasn't it? 07, that, that I think Yeah, yeah, I think we were going to college. We were college, yeah, oh, driving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right, yeah. That's right. Ah, oh, oh, that was some good times. Yeah, that was some times, right? That, just, was, can, that was something, right? Can we reminisce a second? Can we reminisce a second? Because on right? we started reminiscing about secondary schools, but we didn't go to the yes. same secondary school. We didn't. Yeah, we college, didn't. College, we college, went to the same college. Same yeah, college, yeah, yeah. same uni. Which is oh, weird, yeah. right? Obviously, because we went to the same primary school, and then obviously that period of secondary school, we went to different. You relocated, different didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you relocated. relocated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different yeah. schools, and then obviously college, we were the same, and then uni, we were you know back same. to normal, oh, back to regular schedule. Exactly, exactly. But can we just reminisce a second? That's it. Because you you started driving before me, right? You, you started driving, I think it was like early or nine. Yeah, it was early or nine. I, think yeah. I passed my test January or nine. And I think, oh, nine. I think and then the a, month I after got you got the card in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yes. it was my birthday in February. So that obviously, you know, got with the parents and everybody was like, right. Yeah. But I think, but because my parents didn't drive neither. And obviously for everybody who's out there, probably even like, I don't know, immigrant kids really, whose yeah, parents don't it. really drive in the country that they've immigrated to. Then all of a sudden they're like, Oh, my son or daughter's passed the driving test. Right. It looks like we're driving everywhere. So you yeah. turn into oh. a family taxi. Oh, jeez. Don't remind the freedom, me. Of, didn't it? The freedom of having a car when it gave you was just... That it was, was... It was incredible. I, I loved it. I loved passing that test. I loved obviously picking you up. Yeah, we're going to college and that, that right, and then you passed yours. I know the music, the... And it was ah, too sick. We felt, we felt unstoppable. But now looking back, I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck were we doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. You look back and you're like, do you know what? Those were some of the best times oh, ever because... Times. Just, because the like you said the music and just driving down that that road to college where every other every other kid or the majority of the, yeah, the kids yeah, right yeah. there was just you know walking or getting off a bus and we were like yeah fucking bus wankers bus that's wankers. right you best believe it music blaring yeah. everyone kept looking at us you know the girls kept checking us out you know I'm talking about you know I'm talking about but uh, yeah it Come was on, good man. it was a Ford, red Ford Fiesta bro you know what I mean it's a language of love it was bright red exactly love, bright it's a passion red, yeah it's the color of passion dogs. that's what it is 
<laughs> it showed everybody that we were single, you know what I mean? Of course it did, yeah, of course. There was two lads in the car, so what do you, what do you think they were thinking, right? <laughs> you can see, not, I was I remember... skinny pencil arms hanging out the window. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's put the window, actually, you know, let's put it back up because it's quite cold this February, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it was actually right, snowing, it was snowing, was and snowing. I remember... I always remember that because we went to that car park that we always used to park and obviously, you know, handbrake turns. For handbrake any turns. for any women listening out there, please, drive, you know, the handbrake. divert your ears away from this podcast. You know, handbrake turns, you know what it is, you know what it is. <laughs> but that was some of the best stuff. Honestly, that was amazing, that it really was. But then yeah. obviously, you know, it, it, yeah, call it... Oh. Shit, college but you got your, you passed your test. So how soon did you? Uh, not how soon after you got yours, didn't you? Because you passed yours. So you passed yours you in January, your, didn't you? You bought your Ford, the green Ford, and our friend, the obviously, Ford, yeah. I want to name his name on the podcast, but he had the white Peugeot, and we can't. He was Ital- half Italian, <sighs> and then back up to the restaurant that you worked at as a behind the bar oh. or wait. I worked there, you worked there. I came and did deliveries that one night. Don't. And Why are you trying to make me pull this picture out, bro? Don't make me pull the picture out. Don't make me pull the picture out. I've still got the picture, all right? He's got his phone out. That was the Italian job. That's what we called it. It was the Italian job. <laughs> but the funny thing is, right? But the funny thing is, you know, we had our Fords, and for a long time, our Fords, you know, nothing went wrong with them. But our mutual friend with the white Peugeot, oh, he just God. kept having constant problems with it, man. Con- that was Ed- just like... What did he have initially? Every single time. He before the Persia, he had something else. I can't remember what he had. Yeah, it was that Suzuki. That's a, yeah, the Suzuki. Suzuki. Oh, I learned in that Suzuki. Whatever that Suzuki is called, that's the Suzuki yeah, I learned yeah, yeah, in yeah. passed my testing. But yeah, he had that. So then he changed Suzuki? to the Peugeot 308, 307, 207, whatever that, whatever Peugeot was. It was a, it was a, it was a one. Three, it was a bigger one. Yeah, it, yeah, it was, was a 307 three. now. Yeah, 307 yeah, now. Sure. Uh, 306, 306. 306. It was a 306 Peugeot. That was, uh, yeah, the white one. That was, honestly, that was a bag of shit. That I remember driving that car. Oh, that was awful. Cheap as well. And he was like, oh, I got yeah. this on a cheap deal. And I was like, bro, just why didn't you just, just wait or borrow some money yeah, from somebody yeah. and just get a better car? Because you're right, our fours were fine. We used to do the service ourselves back at the yeah. house. Do you know what I mean? Like we the same mistake. Your Ford was all four, wasn't it? It was an all four Ford. All three. All three, all three Ford. Ford. All three Ford. Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Ford was a W wrench. It was actually older than both of your cars. Yeah. And but it was such in good condition in comparison to the Peugeot. Do you know and what I mean? Peugeot, it was it Peugeot, was Peugeot was dog one. It was Peugeot was awful. a bag of shit. Damn, that was an awful car. But yeah, if he's listening out there, we love you, bro. Um, yeah, <laughs> still love we, we love those I times. We love those times. Again, you know, believe it or not, I still talk to him now and again. I went to his wedding. Wow, but he was all right. Uh, he, he seems all right. He seems he's, he's doing still, all right. Married with kids. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but did on? Did he? I was going to say, does he, does he still reminisce now and again for, you know, with the good old days or oh, is it just all does, forgotten? Yeah, now course, and again, when we saw him, he, he is the music that he used to listen because I think we got in a competition between you and him who can make the best CD, the best mix, right. the, no, excuse me, the best mixtape to listen to for the journeys. And obviously, you know, Salt Burned Up and Down, that flipping <sighs> S-Bank and what was it, the mass, uh, when we used to, instead of going down the main road, we'd take kind of the B road. Where it was just straight, yeah. although a little bit bumpy on the way to yeah, go to the yeah, college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it was just yeah, it, it was the back was roads. But no, that's roads, the yeah. back roads. That's what it's referred to as the back roads. But no, it was good, man. It was good times, good times. But yeah, when I saw him, to be fair, he asked about it. He said, "How's he doing?" I did tell him that you've relocated further south, and he's like, "Oh, maybe next time he comes down." Because him and his wife do a lot of trips down south for oh, work nice. or for like whatever, maybe just for pleasure yeah. and leisure yeah. and just enjoy themselves. So yeah, he said I'm he glad might to come hear down it. and see us. So. I'm glad to hear it. Um, last thing on that, right? Do you remember that one time we went to his house and we had, we had that hitting competition with that. What the, what the fuck? Do you remember we? He had. Um, I think they were like. Do you remember they were like bowling pins, like big bowling pins, but they were like. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kind of like rubber, if you will, and they were filled with little white, little white bits. Anyway, we had like this competition, and I've still got the picture where my leg proper red, um, and basically it was like who could take the hardest hit. Like we were in his back garden and we were we were hitting each other on the leg because I think me and him were wearing shorts and I think it must have been cold because there's no other reason I why. I don't remember participating in this, you know. You were there. Yeah, I hit it. I took the picture. No, no, I think you took the picture. I think you were wise enough no, not to actually like, be involved. I'm not getting involved in this. I'm gonna leave you two crack it, crack on with this. Literally, yeah, literally, <laughs> yeah. That that was the term. But we were we were drunk. We were drunk. We were drinking. You know what I mean? You know, responsibly, obviously. Let's just 18, be. <laughs> 19, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was that was some. Ah, oh, man, I've still got the picture of that. And if I find it, or when I find it, I'll send you it, and you probably be like, I remember that. I'll send I'll it. I that. Have you still got his number or not? 
Oh god, no! Like no, I mean, I've send got, it to me. I'll I've send got it to him. A number from him, but no, don't worry about it. I remember yeah, we I'll had the it. number. I had two numbers for him. Every time I called one number, a girl would always pick up and be like, "I don't know why people keep ringing me and asking for this person." And at first, I thought it was his girlfriend or somebody oh, that he knew. Shit. But they're always like, "Hey, so and so, we're gonna do go to the gym, and we're going to play five yeah. side, and we're going here, we're going out, we're doing anything." We've got, we got masters. This person would always go. Can you please stop calling this number? I was like, right, stop. Uh, and this would be me. Can you stop pissing about now? Come on, we're late. Let's get ready. She's like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. don't know who so and so is. You're the <laughs> fifth person to ring me asking for so and so. And literally, I had no idea. But I think it was like the same number, but one digit different or something. I don't. I can't. I deleted that no number a long way. time ago. No way. That's yeah, crazy. So first, I was, I was like from say... Burnley or Preston or something northwest of England, wow. just on the outskirts of Manchester, maybe. Or, I don't know. But yeah, I always rang up thinking it's his number, bro. Like. But no, we had, oh, yeah. man, I've got yeah, the time we played enough. Superman. The, the, the time we played Superman and uh, climbed on top of the uh, on top of the bus oh, shelters. That was that was some fun time. Bro. Fun time. Anyways, look, 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 look. Let's just come. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get into some football, right? Because there's been obviously a lot of football in the last a lot week. of football. Um, yes, a lot of football in the last week, and uh, obviously because of life. We uh, we missed the the predictions for the weekend, but you know they, they came thick and fast. They came thick and fast, so it, it was just you know. Yeah, for, so we thought it was just another game, wasn't that's it? That's it. So, yeah. That's it. So you know there was no there was no real point to to, to go down that route. But uh, do you know what? Let me just get some of the talk some of the the week the weekday games real quick um, because well, I know the mid, obviously the midweek ones. Up. Midweek, uh, yeah, 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 midweek. Yeah, yeah, okay. So first, obviously, you know, I just want to real quick on Arsenal Luton and um, the thing is i know that you know we won but the fact that you know we conceded three to luton and two of them were just plain goalkeeping errors was probably like i've never been such on edge and again we're facing luton for god's sake again no disrespect none of that shit but you know in historically as i as i put in the group that you know we hadn't won against luton since like 88 or some shit do you know what i mean april of 88 or yeah. something so it was like 11 matches where we didn't where we hadn't won against luton and i just thought oh my god history is just not gonna you know it's not gonna let up here it's gonna repeat itself definitely and for a long time Obviously, for, well, for 97 minutes, that's what it looked like. And yeah. then my boy, my boy, Big Deck, you know, steps up with his massive head, bang, in no, there, 4-3, you know. No, it was a really good, it was a decent game, to be fair. It was end to end stuff. Was, was. I, felt, I felt Luton didn't deserve to uh, lose that game, but obviously, you know, at the I end agree. of the day, it's champions uh, well. to be whoever, like, you know, not even champions, that's the wrong word, but title contenders, yeah. Yeah. that you find ways to win ugly just to make sure you walk away with the three points. I standout play for me in that game was Ross Bark, uh, Ross Bark, Barkley, said, yeah, yeah, Ross Barkley, yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. quality. I totally agree. I totally we, agree. We with discussed you. it on the group chat as well, and he yeah. did the same again today, by the way, as well. Like he had three, four it's plays it. around him. He did not care. He was the one who got them out of bother, and then they were on the counter attack and led to the goal. Fantastic footballer. I really, I'm glad. I'm glad he's doing well. I really hope he kickstarts his career at Luton and does wonderful things or goes on to start playing for a top team again. Not that Luton isn't, but with all due respect, no, something. Like them up, though. You know, something. even if he scrapes yeah, if he them, up, them up, scrapes them up, but then you know, maybe they need some investment and so on. But yeah, yeah. no, it was a decent game that one, especially 4 3. And obviously, it we was. started joking about with our friend because he missed every goal and we started pointing it down to his movement. Yeah, <laughs> stop moving, bro. Stop moving. <laughs> Like, like you know just if you you are you are listening i know you're listening to this so d don't move next time all right just uh, when our teams play just sit still that's all we ask for yeah. like, <laughs> turn the TV but that was exactly turn the tv off move and then come back turn the tv on that's fine that's we, yeah, we that's can agree with that two options yeah but honestly yeah it was it was a very good game um and like I, I totally agree with you i don't think i don't think luton deserved to lose that game like genuinely the way that we let them goals in it's like ah, okay well that's your fault like you know it's our fault as an arsenal team that was totally your fault and yeah, yeah. like i said two of the goals at least were goalkeeping errors no, they because were there were errors. That's it. it There's no just, other way to it was put awful. it down to. There was nobody else's awful. fault apart from what's his name, Raya. David Raya. Raya, yeah, David Raya. Raya. Yeah. Yeah, apart from so, him, it was nothing. That nobody else's fault. That that was awful. I liked I liked the fact that obviously uh, that Havertz uh, scored again, which is really good. Um, you know, I, I I like the player. He seems he seems to be getting into into the rhythm of things. Mm -hmm, um, even mm -hmm. even yesterday's game, which you know, whilst we're on it, we'll we'll just get straight into it. Even yesterday's game. Um, against Aston Villa you know he he popped up right at the end he popped he up did. 
he yeah. scored. Um, whether obviously you know we'll, we'll come back to the to whether it was a goal or should or it shouldn't have been a goal. You know we'll come back to that real quick. But yeah, I mean yesterday's game against Villa. Obviously after what Villa did midweek against Man City. It was, you know, I, I was scared. And I said this on the group. I said, you know, this is this is going to be a very, very tough game. And it, guess what? It turned out to be a very tough game. And not in terms of like, you know, we weren't dominated by, by Villa, but damn, you know, that one goal, that's all they needed. That one goal, they, they shut up shop in a way. We had many, many chances, many, many wasted chances, which again, looking back, it's like Odegaard should have at least had two goals there. Like at least two goals. I felt you like know. You were Villa as well. You needed a striker. Yeah. just somebody yeah. to put the ball. Someone just to bully through. Yeah, yeah. G- I Gabriel I Jesus, I think he got called before saying, uh, "I'm a striker, but scoring goals is not my it's main. It's not my. Objective. Yeah, it's not yeah. my main something." And I was like, "What the fuck? What the fuck does that even mean?" But we're like, what are you talking? About? It's like it's like Ryan saying, "Yeah, I'm a keeper, but." Shot stop is not Same. really my thing. Nah, bro. Same. Nah, it's nah, nothing. Not not I'm good with my feet. I'm nah, good with t- my feet. <laughs> Yeah, tapping tapping my studs against the post. That's what yeah, I do. Do you know what I mean? That's what I do. So. Now, to be fair, <laughs> no, it, Villa I game. Agree, I watched it. It was a decent game, though. Uh, I missed the first goal. Obviously, I only caught it when it was one nil. But yeah, Villa yeah. were just physical. On, they were in your on, face. Yeah. yeah, but they were in your face. They got in your face really early. They tried to kind of put out uh, nullify what's his name, Odegaard, Saka. Saka didn't have a very good game. I didn't feel. I felt like Luca Dean did really well. Got him frustrated as well because he got a cheap yellow card I think Saka did he get a yellow card for, no he didn't he kicked the ball towards the keeper and he missed out on a yellow card towards the end yeah. of it do you know what I mean yeah 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 exactly look at Dean battling it in the corner and then the ball went he out the foul. Kick. yeah he, yeah, he kicked the ball to him yeah 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 I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. genuinely thought I was like oh my god what is that was this a guy frustration. doing I, I, I don't know whether he got a yellow card should have been a yellow card yeah but I, I think I, because he kicked the ball towards the keeper he was like he's not there uh, was a delay in play. Yeah, they yeah, passed it to, to the keeper. Because some I guess. players are bouncing the ball on the floor and they get a yellow card for the reaction. So that's inconsistent in refereeing, but we'll talk about that later. But yeah, yeah no, yeah. overall, yeah. though, I did think you were going to come back, to be honest with you. There was plenty of time, and I thought, here we go, here we go. Yeah. That, uh, and the thing that I hear, right, when Sky Sports put on uh, in the 81st minute to 90 plus, Arsenal have scored this many goals. I was like, of course they fucking have, because it's their Arsenal. Like anybody else is doing it. If, you can bet your house on Arsenal coming back and scoring a goal in the last 10, 20 minutes. Yeah. Not 20, 80th minute the last was 10 the minutes usual, yeah. yeah. Usual time. Yeah. But yeah, no, it just wasn't to be. Um, I think, um, decision, I think, maybe. I think uh, look, obviously we'll come back to the decision, but I mean, just as, a, as an overall match and our performance, honestly, performance-wise, we were really good. And we were, again, we were dominating the, the, the play because after the first goal, after McGinn's goal, they didn't have another chance until until after half time. Um, mm. Yeah, no, sorry, uh, just before the end of half time, uh, when Ryan made a nice save. But that was it. That was literally it from from Villa. They didn't. Uh, and, I'm not saying they didn't offer anything going forward because they did. They were always a threat. Every time they kept going forward, you know, if it wasn't for Riot on a couple of occasions, that was that would have been a lot more. But mm. you know, we had so many chances. Jesus, you know, miscontrolled that ball when Saka crossed it in right in the middle of the box. He couldn't yes, bring it down. That, yeah. that would have been again. That would have that would have definitely been a goal if he actually took it took it down. Odegaard had two chances. You know, he, on the on the first chance he sort of you know took he, uh, Jesus passed him the ball. He took two players on and then he still went for. The the goalkeeper's right and I'm like what do you think the goalkeeper was looking at he, that's what he's anticipating and it's yeah, Martinez yeah. He, he's a good keeper at the end of the day you know Very you can't deny keeper. that so you know he was he was anticipating that and that's where exactly where Odegaard you know put it in, into his right and then by the end you know he the, the goal that he scored against Luton he couldn't score against Villa, which obviously would have counted a lot more. So, yeah, yeah you know, we yeah. had plenty, plenty of chances. We had uh, more possession than, than they did. Again, just going to mention the expected goals because I know people in America, they love stats. So the expected goals, we were like 1.5 to their 0. 0.7 or 0. 0.5, whatever it was. But again, that shit, that don't matter. It was, <laughs> it was, it it was one of Villa. It, it means yeah. fucking now. But just to, sh- just, just to show that obviously we had many, many chances that we just, we couldn't we couldn't put away. And Saka right at the beginning, he had that chance with his right foot. And I'm like, bro, what, what are you talking about? Like, you know, you, why are you using your right foot? Like, what's going on with your right foot? Is it blocked or something? But what's going on there? Yeah, because he used so, both feet, didn't he? He's quite yeah, good with both usually, feet. Usually, usually. But this time he just couldn't. Again, it, it felt like one of those matches where... It was just not luck was not on our side, you know. Just that tiny little bit of luck. We made everything else happen, but just that tiny little bit of luck. It just wasn't on yeah, our side. Yeah. And and by the end, obviously, look, you know, we were threatening to we were threatening to to equalise, but 
shit, it just wasn't meant to be. And, you know, Villa rightfully so. They, they played a very good game. Um, and again, after watching them against City, because I watched that second half, that second half against City was un- unbelievable. Like 34 touches in the City box to City's 12 do you know what I mean? It wow. was incredible. But then again, does that what does that mean? Does that mean like when Rodri doesn't play, like City are uh, pretty much open season? Pretty I don't know. It seems, like that, it. it seems that way. It seems that way. Yeah, shit. It sounds way. like it. So, and you know, it's... Security guard is not there. Anybody can come in. Exactly. exactly. And there's no bouncer on the door. Do you know what there's I mean? No so you're getting underage. Yeah, you're getting Lil's going in, so... Underage and the Nathan has to sing. Sorry, <laughs> baby. <laughs> But like so, so I think obviously you know as, as an overall performance, I think we we played uh, good. I don't want to say very good. Uh, Odegaard, like you said, he was nullified in the midfield. Uh, there was a lot of players on him. Saka was just getting was getting hit, but not to the point where I think oh someone should have had a yellow yeah, card or a yeah, red yeah, card. Yeah, no, no, yeah. he was, it was like the right amount. Fouls yeah, the, and the tactical. Yeah, yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean. There's yeah. a couple again, a couple of couple of uh, instant uh, incidents that should have again should have been at least looked at. That uh, elbow by Diego. Carlos, I think that's his name, Diego Carlos, the, the defender. I think yeah, it's the one with all the tattoos who at the end decided to take his top off to show everybody his body. Yeah, he was like, pretty much, like, like, yeah. Fucking yeah. Hell. Nobody and has to show you. decided to give it away. Exactly, yeah, seriously, no one's asked for your shirt. Not even your players, not even your fans. Shirt. Yeah, not even that's your fans. Like, nobody said, Diego, give me your shirt. He was just like, let me take it off so I can get some sort of a Just in case, it, yeah, just. Like, that's anyone all it was, bro. That's all it was. Anyone if he scored, it, he took his top off. Because it is score, he's like, let me just take it off, give it to someone. I'll take it off anyway, and like, go and do some Brock Lesnar, like, flexes. But uh, yeah, ripped underneath, so it wasn't no, a big cause. I'd like, be very surprised if, if I was like that. I'd be wearing no shirt and cycling shorts everywhere I go. <laughs> 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 well, maybe he doesn't do that well down there. I don't know. Maybe that's I why it doesn't work. It was <laughs> like for that reason. Yeah, fair exactly. Enough. You never know. You never know. But uh, but yeah, that I think that should have at least been looked at uh, a little bit more because again, did it, it look so like? Because obviously I missed that bit. Did it look like intent on the elbow? Like he basically the play, or was it kind of like I'm jumping up to leverage as I'm doing it on screen for you? Oh right no, no 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 no! It was it was like basically um, what was it? Um, he was looking. He was look. He was sort of looking to his left, running towards his own goal. Like I think it was Trossard on the on our left. So he was looking towards the left, and then Enketi was running uh, behind him. But he sort of like turned and hit Enketi. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, did it I'm look, sorry, bro. Did it, or did it just look like arms? I'm trying to protect the ball and then twist it. No, no, it, it, looked it like, was it was a yeah. yeah, it was more like a elbow sort of you know sort of and lunge. Look, it, didn't it, sure. it didn't get a look at all. No, no, even, you've got to look at you got to look at, but yeah, it was oh, just not even. Just yeah, like I don't. Nothing in it, I, right, right. Was a yellow card? I think he may have got a yellow card for it. But I'm thinking if you saw if you given him a yellow card for that particular in, for that incident. And surely you need to look at that again. Or Var needs to intervene and be like, you know what, can you just have a look at that again? Because that was quite dangerous. And it reminds yeah. me of the Bruno Gamarish um album on, yeah. which on, on Jorginho, which they were like, Oh, I didn't want to it didn't mean to use it as a weapon. What what are you talking about, bro? Like again, they're not going out there wrestling shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? no, None of them are using it for that. So I, I, again, the referee decisions a few referee decisions were just appalling. Absolutely appalling they were. That uh, it should have been a penalty. I don't know if you watched it, it should have been a penalty on Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, I saw that. Personally, I, saw, I think I don't know whether maybe the, like his reputation's gone for it. Maybe the way he fell didn't do him any justice. But then again, you're right. it looked like he flopped. Like, how do you fall? How do you fall? Like, yeah. how is that, what is good falling like? On yeah. like, no judgment. Do we get training for this like, or what? Exactly. Like, I mean, does the PGMOL do they train the players on how to fall? <laughs> I mean, that's good. We're gonna have to start seeing uh, set piece coaches, falling coaches, tactical coaches on the falling like, coaches, falling coaches, um, where your arms are, coaches, yeah, um, how to jump, coaches. <laughs> yeah, defending yeah, this, uh, in coach. Like you can't yeah. do that. What you, you do You have to. You have to. Yeah, elbow coaches, a weapon <laughs> coach. <laughs> exactly. No, it's gonna. No, to be. I, I saw the replay to that. Again, I didn't see it. I'm not trying to play the Fergie card. If I haven't seen it, I'll have to watch it again. I just saw the replay, and I think because of the way he went down, again, I'm not sticking up for the rest because I think they've been appalling. There's no consistency whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, in real me, time, in a bit real- just the way he fell. I was I agree with you on that because in real time I was like that's not a penalty because it looked like he flopped mm. but then when you see that replay on on from every single angle that you watch that replay yeah, yeah. it's like okay he took the ball down he was about to take a second touch but he got hit from underneath and then he fell and it's like right well clearly that's a penalty right because we've seen some some ridiculous penalties yeah, being given yeah. and 
and I, I just think he got that call very, very wrong. And, you know, that should have been a penalty for us, I, the, the way I look at it. Um, I watched Match of the Day, and Ian Wright, obviously, he said the same thing. that He said that's a penalty all day because of the rules of the... Like, you know, sort of the letter of the letter of the law. And then, obviously, Jermaine Genus with his big mouth and uh, fucking, you know, just apps absolutely no fucking idea he goes oh that's not never a penalty for me and you can see right he drops his head and he's like like that he's about to basically punch a genius in the face and be like are you fucking mad how do you not see that as a penalty so he was very frustrated because it was just the wrong call from the referee like it, it was a, such a bad call but anyway look i'm not going to complain because we had many chances that were missed so i'm not we, we i can't say that oh because of that we lost no no we had many no, no, chances no. Yeah. we squandered them we didn't we, did, we weren't clinical enough at the end and even Arteta came out in the press conference uh, afterwards he was like yeah we, we should have he said at least we shouldn't have lost this game he initially goes we should have won and then he goes at the very least we shouldn't have lost this game because we had many chances we just weren't clinical enough and he was asked by the uh, by the the guy interviewing him I, I don't know who he was you know what do you how do you feel about this you know in terms of uh, the PGMOL and he goes do you know what he said I'll let you guys interpret that then because what do you mean by this, Arteta? You know about the calls. Like, no, no, I'll let you guys interpret it in the press yeah, because I know yeah. you have fun with it. Fair enough. You know, fair dues to him. He's not going to go down yeah, that route again yeah, because no. he got punished. He got punished for it. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I genuinely think at the very least we shouldn't have lost that match. I'm not saying I'm not saying you're going. Oh, we should have definitely won. It should have been like four one or whatever. No, like it just weren't clinical enough. And um, yeah. for me, yeah, I suppose it's hard to take uh, you as well because you're used to seeing your team win and score goals at the end and then when they're not clinical like that you think to yourself oh come on that's a huge frustration and you're right you could have picked on the referee but you haven't which is good of you because you're a good host of a podcast you give unbiased opinions you give two sides of the I story I try to be I try to be but, uh, because yeah, no, this is the thing if we did if we did an instant reaction to the to the match, then guaranteed I would have, you know, I, I think most of this episode would have been just beeps everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because I just don't think we could put our podcast where it's I love swearing the way you all the said time. Beeps, right? But we swear we never beep it out. That's fine. That's fine though. But again, if oh, it's right, if it's a full podcast, yeah, 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 if it's yeah, a full podcast, podcast that's going to be of swearing. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't work because there's no con context of the words we so, might have um, to beep the c word if we ever use the c word i know our friends across the pond really dislike the c word they do but you know when i talk about being Genus, recorded on this side <laughs> when i talk about christian romero and uh you know those types of players christian bruno fernandez romero, he is an absolute c c word exactly he's a c word man that's, he is, that's it he literally yeah, yeah. is he is an absolute Aunt. He is absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. See you next Tuesday, Cambridge University netball team, all that stuff. Wow, look uh, at that. Yes, that's that's a good one, right? <laughs> I've been working on these. <laughs> I've been working on one, these. Yeah. <laughs> he plays for that. Plays for So I, you know. I feel, I feel your pain because, like I said to you, when you see you used to seeing your team winning on. And then all of a sudden, then they can't be clinical. You get really frustrated. But uh, what, what did you think then? What, uh, do you think Arteta not being on the sideline had anything to do with it? Maybe motivation for the players or fear, whichever way they look at Arteta being there. The I reason think... I ask that is because you've seen sometimes when players make a mistake, they look at the dugout straight away. You get that corner eye, that side eye looking at the manager. How's he reacted? How's the bench reacting? And then before they run back into their position. I think um, I'll be... <sighs> I think if Arteta was on the on the sidelines, I think he probably would have motivated them a little bit more because I think it was Steifenberg or Carlos Cuesta. I can't remember which who it was on the sideline who was like you know his sort of assistants who were yeah, yeah, on, yeah, the, yeah. on the sideline. But again, I just don't think I don't think they they have that same presence that Arteta has. And look, a manager, I'm not like I'm not blaming it on Arteta to be like yo because of he no, wasn't no. there, you know, and all this. But it does make a difference, I feel, because again, he knows what he's thinking straight away. And by the time he gets that message relayed to one of his assistants Could've down changed, at the dugout, yeah. everything's changed. The whole game state has changed. Yeah. And you know, and then so it's it's a bit it's basically on delay. Like, you know, when we're watching live football and we're like, Oh, he's just scored. And I'm like, What are you talking about? He's just scored. I'm watching the match. Oh, there it is. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, 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 it's yeah, literally that a slight delay on that. Yeah, yeah. Because I could be like, you know, swearing and effing and blinding at my team. Oh, these fuckers and all this not doing anything. But you've already seen the goal mm -hmm. so by the time that comes back to me i'm like oh okay so it's gone all right then cool so again my mindset yeah, changes, you know what i'm so, saying yeah yeah, yeah yeah so it's i feel like it's the same thing but i don't you know in, in in the interest of fairness i can't sit here and be like you know it was up to our tech. i think you know everyone shares a bit of blame in terms of not being clinical enough and you're saying that i'm not blaming the ref i mean that that bit at the end with Havertz and Matty Cash and Eddie and Ketty. Yeah. Did you watch the replay of that, by the way? I've seen the replay. I've seen it slow motion and it does not look good at all. 
like, okay, first of all, that ball comes in and you can see that Havertz clearly shoulders it down. You clearly see that. Bounces off Matty Cash and then it bounces off of Havertz's chest. And then yeah. off his chest, it bounces off Matty Cash's hand and then it bounces on, on Havertz's hand. And then it goes back to what we were just discussing. Like, where the fuck is he? Where's he supposed to put his hands? I've said this, you know, put that fucking training band yeah, that they put around the legs. Put it around the... Need just, that coach. Yeah, just make me the coach, right? I'll, I'll put the training band around my, around my players like that and just be like, all right, cool, flop like a fish. Do you know what I mean? When you go for a header, head it like a fish, mate. Sausage you know, runs. don't move your arms. <laughs> Sausage runs, exactly. You know, some Sylvester Stallone shit. Ah, shoulder runs, you know what I mean, doing this shit. But I honestly, the fact that he gave that he said that's a disallowed goal and again he that was his on-field decision by the way but then you actually watch that again as i did on match of the day he his on-field decision was crazy because at that point he was behind a player do you know what I, mean? I think he was yeah, behind reese nelson like, even see, yeah they said that as well how did he how did he even see that how did he see that to then give if it, he didn't you know see I mean? it the on-field decision should have stayed or like the decision the goal should have stood and then so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah no. that's it that's that's and that's, it, that, that's this is what we talk about it. isn't it inconsistency with them all the time you'd hope they're going to get it right but they just don't like what they do one week they don't do it the following week or what happens with one ref they don't do it for another ref another game sorry and you just think to yourself for fuck's sake like can you not get it right this is the best league in the world they've just signed a new contract what was the new contract 6.7 6.5 billion 6.7 billion yeah yeah, six point seven billion to show for Premier League matches, which is great for the, us, the consumer. But well, yeah. no one will get charged ridiculous well, amounts. Exactly. But yeah, I, I agree. I agree. In charge ridiculous amounts, but just to watch a lot of footy. Yeah. But then you want the referee to be on there as well, because some people with the right amount of alcohol, things would have looked very differently. You know, like fights and could have good yeah. referee and save save so many things. It doesn't have that domino effect. Like yourself, yeah, you were fuming with a referee. Now imagine if you had the right amount of alcohol and you're watching out at a pub and somebody says to you the wrong thing, it was like, ah, no, that was never the case. I don't know what I mean. You turn Bang. around. Yeah, fucking, no, you're right. You're right. You're, like, you're absolutely right. Dare you. What are you watching? Because you know, we're passionate about our teams. It's, this the, is the, this the beautiful game. It's the beautiful it is a beautiful game, game watch, absolutely, yeah. and we love it. And, it, you know, sometimes it can ruin your weekend. It can be so it's, frustrated. It does ruin your I day agree. or your weekend, but you've just got to try. Well, maybe not so much you, but I've most certainly have, I've learned to just like... Yeah. Who's, uh, who's, uh, I've gone 20 <laughs> years, so, yeah, trust me. I've, I've, I've already I'm in that Wusa stage. This is why I've I know the feeling of that Wusa stage. This is why when I said to you earlier, like, oh, you're used to them finishing and putting it away, and then when they don't, you're like, how? How have you not yeah. scored that? You just it's, how? It just yeah, it I just mean, has more questions than anything else. The question, the main question, is how? Like just how? Those three letter words. That that how that is the frustration, isn't it? Because it's like you're trying to compute it in your brain, like logically, you're trying to think, like Absolutely. how was that this or how did he do this? And you know what I mean? So, oh, so yeah. that, that's that's the frustration coming through. And and I totally agree with you. It it I wouldn't look. Obviously, you know, we're we're at we're at an age now where we're not going to let football ruin our lives because again, no, we're not also, getting paid. What again? Yeah. <laughs> well, it does. I, I, for, for that for that hour after the match, you're just thinking, eh. And then I watched Match of the Day this morning. I was still like, what? But obviously, you know, luckily for us, we're, 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 we've got brains and we're like, all right, cool, fair enough. Look, it happened on to the next one. There's not, can't that's be changed. It, yeah, it cannot be changed. Yeah, you know, so that's, change that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we need to understand. But yeah, I think, I think, you know, as much as we've said it, the, the, the professionals have said it, the, you know, the, the more professional pundits have said it, that the, the letter of the law in terms of handballs is ridiculous because for me, unless like if where are you supposed to put your hands man where are you supposed to put your, in that close in that close quarter that him cash and Kelly yeah. were in where is he supposed to put his hands what can you do yeah 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 his hands were on the way down when that ball bounced onto him do you know what i mean yeah, so there was no intent to hand. use his hand that's it yeah, too his close hand was down to do anything so at, at, that's the thing in proximity wise and um yeah it ruined it for sure but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know the chances that we had, we should have put them away, and we probably wouldn't even have this discussion about the the yeah, referee. Or I wouldn't have been as frustrated. Yeah, 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 yeah I wouldn't have been, been as frustrated. So. No, I don't. so it's uh, yeah, I think yeah, I can't really say I can't really say like in terms of you know we we yeah sorry I can't say that we definitely dominated them um, for the majority of the match. That one goal was the difference. So I you know no one can say that uh, Aston Villa Aston Villa eh, oh two seconds bro because I'm my, my wife has just brought me some tea really tea who drinks tea why do I why do I want tea? If you're anything like me, my headwear is only New Era caps. New Era is the official headwear provider for NFL, MLB, and the NBA. But New Era caps are not just headwear. They are a global brand of culture, style, and self-expression. 
I'm a huge fan of rap and hip-hop, and growing up, I used to watch artists spot in the new era cups. I was mesmerized by the way they used to fit just perfectly. I remember my first ever new era cup. It was a Blue Jays cup. I lived in Toronto, so it had to be. My favorite from my personal collection is my LA Dodgers. I have two different versions, fitted and the 940. What I love most about New Era is the quality of the product is second to none. I refuse to wear any other brand caps when New Era is available. So if you want to dress like your favorite sports stars and musicians, visit the official website neweracap.com and use the code TASHMIKE at checkout for 15% off. That's neweracap.com and use the code TASHMIKE for 15% off. Do I want to? I want some coffee. But okay. Cool. Cool. Tea will do. Tea, tea will do. Yeah. Hot, 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 hot. Right. No. Uh, <laughs> you said who drinks tea? It reminded me of that episode of uh, what was that American football guy who's coaching Amazon Prime, Ted Lasso, mm-hmm. when he drinks tea and he goes like, "What tastes like sewage water? What is? Why do you drink this dirty water? Like, there's no flavour to it." And uh, we had a, we had an appointment and met an American who was uh, like one of the cops, and uh, we went and grabbed a sandwich and a coffee, and he was just like. We got a bag of Maltesers. He goes, ah, how much of the malt? And I was like, the one, mate? The malt? And I was like, Maltesers. He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, you're right, no worries. I said, do you have these and call them malt in the States? Or are you from Canada? Like, which part are you from? And he's like, no, no. And I was like, quick question. I said, which one tastes better? Like the sweets or, sorry, the candy here or in America? He's like, no, in America it tastes much better because here it tastes like you're not even eating junk food because he goes, you've got so many yeah. rules into like yeah. Yeah. preservatives and chemicals. We have no E-numbers. Yeah, we have exactly no E-numbers no anymore. Number. Yeah. yeah. So and I was like, oh, all right, sweet. But yeah, no, it just reminded me of the tea. Pointless look bit to talk about. No, no, luckily, luckily though. Footy. Luckily though, this is actually flavored tea. I think it's got some sort of pomegranate in it or something. I don't know, but it's flavored, so at least at least it's gonna have some flavor in it. You know, like cranberry it's or whatever. None, I don't of, that, know. none of that Yorkshire tea. None of that. <laughs> come on, come on. That is sewage water. No, I'm just kidding. I do love tea, by the way. Let's, you know, people from Yorkshire shout out. Shout, I'm drinking. Out I'm you. drinking a TikTok. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's a, some South African brand. I really, I really like the taste of TikTok. So try TikTok tea with a little bit of milk. No sugar. Oh, okay. okay. But with no sugar. If you have sugar, obviously have a little bit, but don't put no, too No, no sugars. Yeah, I don't, I don't do sugars in coffee yeah, or tea, to be fine, honest. Yeah. It ruins it. But uh, yeah. yeah, sorry. Going back to the going back to the football and, uh, and yeah, in, in terms of Arsenal. So overall, you know, it was it was it was down to us really to 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 make that to make that game you know ours and to yeah. sort of capitalize on on City losing and obviously you know Liverpool unfortunately won you know there's nothing we can do about that but uh, yeah so we just lost, yeah. we slipped we slipped out we slipped out the 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 top of the league so you know it's not really it's not it's not something that I, I, I like early. talking about but yeah it's it's still it's early. Even halfway through I thought we were halfway through at some point almost, and I realized we been yeah. halfway through you know we've like we've still got three games to go before yeah. it's halfway yeah. through yeah but um yeah that's all right demand nothing else should we move over to to over let's, to the blue side of London let's move it over um and I will so say I will ca- I, really well. uh, <laughs> I will caveat <laughs> I will caveat that uh, that I didn't watch a Chelsea match because we had our carpets clean today um, like deep clean so we had to be out of the house I honestly did not miss much at all I'll talk yeah. about Chelsea Man United the bit that you did watch first we'll let's do it yeah let's do it I first. did watch that yeah I did watch that so uh, that was fucking diabolical as well um, where to begin I was disappointed to be fair from the starting lineup I put it on the chat as well like why has he changed the back four you know like that's yeah against Brentford we won we had a pretty solid ish game you know like we did well and he just changed it again what a, and the players for me just I said on the chat mate we made Man United look like they were world class we made yeah. Garnacho Turkey Teeth look like he was absolute prime Ronaldo just, Scott McTominay look fucking good we made Scott Ronaldo. McTominay look like flipping Scott McZidane like he was ah, absolutely bossing it Zinedine McTominay Zinedine God. McTominay look at it McZidane whatever we want to name Scott him Javi. Scott, Scott Javi. <laughs> yeah, Scott Javi. Scott Javi. Andres, <laughs> Andres McTominay come on bro Andy, we're good as all day we're bro, all day. he was we made him look unbelievable and we had quarter of a billion in sort of uh, transfer fees for three players in that middle of the park and they just could not get anywhere near him uh, the player that played in the middle obviously Palmer came in because Conor Gallagher was injured not injured sorry uh, serving his suspension and he just he was just shy like we just couldn't do nothing Palmer was awful that game he lost so many touches I know he's got a great goal don't get me wrong he's got a fantastic goal but there were opportunities to release the ball quicker no that doesn't excuse it because when you lose three points nobody's looking at individual accolades this isn't Spurs and Harry Kane to be like oh yeah he's nearly the top scorer we're, we're not on that shit but 
the main thing that I have the problem, especially in that game, was we left so much uh, in the middle of the park. McTominay found so many spaces. I didn't like the fact that Cole was flopped for the second goal. You saw that he got a touch on the yeah. shoulder and he went down. I was thinking, why? Uh, but my main concern is Jackson was awful. He offered us again. nothing up yes, top. Again. Awful. Yes, again, yeah. Awful, yeah. awful, awful. Like, so shit. And then he just seems to get angry for no reason. Mudrick tries going, running forward. And I always think, bro, like, fair enough, you're on the left. Why don't you ever swap and have a go at the right left back? You're having a go at the right back? Swap size. You know, like that yeah. old school, like, where the wingers just used to swap. And yeah. I mean, it's not even that old school. Like, maybe it might be to the youngins, but to us, to our 30 plus generation, is Fergie used to love it. Bex and, and Ronaldo switching, or not Ronaldo, yeah. sorry, Bex and Giggsy and Nani and Ronaldo switch size, bro. Sometimes attack the right back sometimes attack the left back yeah. find a weakness see which one works and just keep doing that Mudrick just seems to want to stay on the left hand side all the time it seems to want to cut inside but it's we just yeah man he's just that middle of the park as well like Caicedo's just so shit like so shit he's not quick enough to intercept the ball he doesn't read the game quick enough to get there maybe because to make up for the lack of pace and he, everything he does is like a two yard pass and I'm thinking this is this wasn't you for Brighton you were running with the ball you were taking on defenders like a Declan Rice for you like a uh, what's his name the the black player in middle of the park for Spurs well, uh, Basuma like a Basuma oh for God. Spurs running, running with the ball and get rid of that first press and then you kind of attack in CDM centre backs and he just doesn't he gets in it's always sideways football Cucurella made like I said turkey teeth Garnacho look unbelievable I was thinking, like yeah. why is Cucurella yeah. even there bro? why is Cucurella even playing he should be playing now especially, especially right. not right back well, I don't know what was going on I think Stern, the Sassi, I think the the Sassi played the Sassi played right back for you on uh, the, the game before didn't he and then it was Badishila yeah, the in the centre yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thiago Badishila in the yeah. centre and Colwell on the left that's yeah. fine I've got no problem with that that I is like for that, me yeah. I think that is our best for because even Reese James is kind of hit and miss at the minute nothing wrong yes, with that yeah. take him off yes he's captain but take him off yeah. save him a little bit look at Trent now when Fer um, Fergie sorry when Klopp took him off against Arsenal it was like oh he had a little injury he didn't just Martinelli no. was rip, ripping him left, right, and centre. Absolutely center, so. was, yeah, absolutely. You know was. No, I, mean? I agree. You take I agree. him off. You protect him a little bit, but it looks like we might have to have this Sessi there anyway because Reese James got injured today. Like he felt something on his hamstring again. Oh, geez, he's refusing oh surgery. So, oh, is he? Okay, great. That, I don't know that's whether he's captain, refusing by surgery. By the way, I don't know. I don't know what it is. You know, some people don't believe it. Some people like. But anyway, let's not. We'll talk about that when we I'm get tellin to this game. I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm telling you, with with Rhys James, and I've said it for a long time, he is not captain material because I saw yeah. him against Man United when he came on, and the fact that he gets so frustrated and drops his head, it's like, dude, you you it's are literally you, 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 you are the Chelsea through and through, and if you drop in your head, what the hell do you think the rest of them that's are going to do? Who are it. there literally just to, just to earn a paycheck? Just like uh, for the next, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's what that's what I'm saying, and it's it's disappointing to see him because again for a while he was very very good. Like you know he was literally probably yeah, one of the best really right back was. right wing backs in England. But he was even the memes got to the point that if you fancy a crosser you get Trent, if you fancy somebody for pace you get what's his name Carl Walker, if you fancy yeah. somebody to do everything. Reese James, whatever James. those memes yeah. were, bullshit yeah. like that. Yeah. But I think the injuries, I don't know whether it's psychological with him at the minute, he doesn't want to get injured. You know, those players who come back from a long term injury and they come back yeah. and they get injured again, which happened with Reese James. And then they come back for the third time and then they're a bit hesitant for a tackle or they try to put on extra muscle, which is their lower limbs and their tendons and ligaments haven't really adjusted to their extra yeah. body mass yeah. that they've gained. And I think that's what it is with Reese James as well. Like, I think psychologically, he's like not willing to go in for all the challenges. But if you do it half-heartedly, you get found out. And against Newcastle, he got found out. Did, against yeah. Man United, players. he didn't play. You can yeah, no, big players as well. They're brutal. They're, 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 they are absolutely brutal players. It was even the big so. guys. It was Anthony Gordon who did it. Like, ah, the yeah, little that nipple Gordon, yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's it. They're the bits where I think like that agility, excuse me, agility from Reese James was just missing a little bit. And I don't know whether that's a fear. My hamstring's going to go and so on. But we can't afford to carry players who are struggling on for hamstrings just because you're Chelsea through and through. You know, at the end of the day, football club comes first, winning comes first. And then if you are good enough, you make the team. If you're not good enough, just sit on the sideline and support the team from the sideline. But these through and through players, we don't have anybody. We'd have, we're apart from James and Gallagher and that starting 11, there's nobody else there like who can really play. And that kind of leads me on to today's game. We got them. We started off all right. Changes again to the starting 11. I'm thinking, what is this guy fucking doing? Once again, we don't seem to have a consistency 11, like a consistent 11. You know, you're Arsenal, I say to you, you're going to play 
City tomorrow, who's your back four? You go, da, 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 done. He'll probably yeah. go Zinchenko instead of Tommy Yasu. One chain, right? Who's your yeah. midfield? Da, da. Who's your top three? Da, da, done. You say to me, who are you playing? I'll be like, this is who I would like to see. Yeah. I am not confident. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you see yeah. the difference? Do you see where I'm at? And I'm like, this is what I would like to see. And it's not happening. I don't know why Pochettino's not doing it. I'll be honest with you. I said it on the chat uh, text with you as well. If he doesn't start winning and Ten Hag doesn't start winning for United, they will be gone because yeah. nobody's going to be... But I don't think we trust the manager at Chelsea with transfers because Todd's doing all the transfers, but yeah. uh, United will get rid of him. But no, for me, honestly, coming back to Chelsea, really poor, no desire. You mentioned with Arsenal struggling on the final third and sometimes you couldn't finish. We weren't clinical at all today. We had a couple of... Ch- you'll watch match of the day. We had a couple yeah, of chances, yeah, yeah. which we looked good, but overall, we were second best to everything. We had no build-up. Like, you get the ball, you see Arsenal get it, ball comes into Declan Rice between two players to Odegaard, Odegaard to Saka, runs down the wing, tries to square it in our edge of the D. Chelsea get it, ball to Palmer, Palmer does three, four turns, nobody there for him to find. Ball to Mudrick, Mudrick loses it. Right, let's try again. Caicedo, five-yard pass, body shield. And you think to yourself, what are, what are we trying to... Listen, it's Christmas now. Questions have got to be asked of the manager. What are you trying to achieve? Yeah, what I is agree. your motto? What are you trying to do? Yes, we have spent a fucking billion. Yes, we've paid, overpaid for players. But this is what you've got now. What are you going to do? Yeah. And what is your motto? It's, I think it's a, it's a conversation that must have been had when, uh, when Pochettino was being hired because, you know, you can't... If I was Pochettino <laughs> and I... I, I Went to a Chelsea and I've seen the, the seasons beforehand, you know, going through two managers or whatever it is. Um, I, I, my question would be like, look, you know, what what's the scope of what I'm doing here? Like, you know, are you going to let me have some some new players that I want who think are going to, you know, going to improve the team? Or, or yeah. am I just stuck with these players? Surely that conversation must have been had, right? And You'd if like that conversation, so, you know? yeah, that's what I'm saying. If that conversation has been had with the owners, then... I can't put any blame on, on Pochettino because, unfortunately, that's the players that he's got. But let's break it down, though, right? If he had that conversation, every manager takes over and says, these are the three players I need to make this team work. Because yeah. before you take over a job, you get approached, so, yeah, you have consi- a look sorry, at the team. I'm talking about Chelsea, like, <clears throat> considering how much money's already been spent. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, is, yeah, absolutely. Is Todd Bowley willing to spend more on the three players, for example, that Pochettino well, say, would like? Right? So, obviously, who came in? Jackson came in over the summer because yeah. we were leading a striker. Jackson came in. Uh, Ugo Chuko came in. Diassi came in. <laughs> the list goes on, right? Yeah, but let's but say, were the, those really those that's, that's three players? So. Exactly. So were they Pochettino's players? I doubt it. I doubt Pochettino has picked, who worked with Harry Kane, worked with an Mbappe and Neymar, who is a football ex-footballer himself who played for Espanyol in the rivalry yeah. against Barcelona. He would have seen clinical strikers, even for Espanyol, yeah. he knows what to look for, yeah. and so on. You know, you know exactly. Yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. He knows what to look for. Did he really pick Jackson? And if he didn't, why the hell did he not stand up for himself? This is your legacy going to be on here. You can't go to Paris and not win, come to Chelsea and be like, oh, we'll do all right. And just hope on the, hang on the uh, lifeline of, I did all right with Spurs. I made Deli Alli into a decent player. I turned Harry Kane into who Harry Kane is now and Song. And you think like, bro, like that's fine. But like, we need trophies. We need silverware. Fans want bragging rights. Fans want to be like, ha yeah, but we won the Carabao Cup this year. It's a kick, it's a start, or we won the league. Do you know what I mean? Like this yeah, is a cup's thing. A cup, but yeah, you're not even aiming for that, to be honest. Yeah, you're exactly. Not even that. Minute, we're just aiming for some consistency. Not even yeah. top four is fine. We're just aiming to let's see a consistent play and be like, okay, we were unlucky today. We'll win the next one. Huge respect, by the way. I know you're not a big fan of his, but Ange Postecoglou, he plays the same way and looks to find little alterations in his play to be able to win or to gain an advantage over the opposition. He got beat by Chelsea 4-1, drew with City, got beat by whoever else did the next three games where they were winning 1-0 and created a meme or something. Even Ozil commented, bottle of seeds. Do you see that on Twitter? Do you see? I did see that. Did see. That, that, was a record, that was a record broken, though. You know, yeah, yeah, there was yeah. three, three or four games three on the bounce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where from a leading position, they lose at home or even in the league. And it just goes to show that like he was strong enough and he just stayed with those players. And even then, look at that that bit he was losing games and he was only making little little changes into his 11 Pochettino will have a new 11 by next week and you think why like what is going on here Raheem Sterling had a great game against City left left wing he hasn't played left wing for the next, for the last three games yeah. Carl like, Walker the best right back in the country Raheem Sterling made him tremble in that position and we started attacking and Carl Walker didn't know <laughs> what to do 
all of a sudden we're like, yeah, that's too good. Let's give him a chance. Let's put Raheem that's, on the right. I was just about to say, yeah, you took the words oh, out of my mouth. Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> this is what I mean, the frustration, because yeah. we just did what worked against City. Yeah. Why are we not doing it with everybody else? Let's try it. Raheem is the best left wing. That's Raheem's position. And if he does play right wing, Modric left, okay, that's a fine. Keep altering keep changing yeah. keep moving keep changing, keep mid-game, changing. Mid-game, yeah, mix, mid-match, yeah. mix it around like how hard is it to say to Sterling you're a bit older than Modric dictate when you want to change you dictate yeah. when you want to change yeah. Modric can't speak English let's say he should by now but let's say he can't you say to him change Modric when the word change means this yeah you go and to that's the it. Side, you know yeah. what I mean simple yeah. instructions but even Modric I feel like he needs one-to-one coaching he's he's not he's, he's not, not great yeah he's, uh, he's not the he's not the guy for He's not the guy for us. No, no, he's not. He's he's awful. I'll be honest with you, he's awful. You'll watch it today as well. He did two crosses in, did nothing for 70 minutes, got a yellow card, a bit of frustration, which was good to see a bit of fight in him, but not for the yellow card, the bit of aggression afterwards going forward with the ball, but he's got nothing. He gets... Yeah, but... Mm. Would you like it, to see aggression if the player's been doing well and then no, no, you, I mean, and then it becomes yeah, yeah, aggressive? No, 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 no. You know? I mean so. aggression in the sense of like chasing with the ball, trying to close down. Because yeah. even the yeah. closing down, he's like looking at it. Uh, and that's what it leads me on to. This is the final thing that I'll end it because it, it just just fucking shite everywhere. <laughs> is I watch the training session. Do you know when teams post out like week, like a kind of like a little um, cameo effect, if you like, but like an eight minute cameo of what they got up to in training, mm-hmm. you know, rondos and shooting and so on and so forth. Chelsea players doing the rondo look like as if it was a group of lads on holiday having a chat and just uh, kicking the ball about a little bit. No design, discipline. There's no discipline, passion, no, no z- discipline, zero. I don't even know how yeah. they know what the word means. I'll be able to spell it. Zero, mate. And they were just laughing and joking. And then you watch like, I don't know, a City, an Arsenal, the Spurs, a Liverpool. The ball is flying into the feet and the player controls it and gets rid of it first time. Okay, they have a laugh when they make somebody or when they get to 20 or 25 passes, you know. Chelsea yeah, players are like on 3-4 yeah. and just laughing and going like, what do you mean, bro? What are you doing, bro? So who's that for, bro? And I was thinking like, oh, that's how they play. That's literally God, how they play. This that's is what's play. happening in training. We are fucked. And we were fucked yeah. today because that came out before Everton game today and we were fucked. Like, absolutely fucked. Uh, what's his name? The Ukrainian at left back. Livermen- Liv- what's his Livermento. Day? Livermento. Livermento, yeah. yeah. I don't understand why Mudrick didn't even attack him once. Mudrick stayed on the left the whole time. I was like, why do you go against your countrymen? You play with him. You'll probably have a bit more confidence if you're battling with him than you are with Ashley Young and whoever else is coming on that yeah. side. So he was quiet. More, Both know, for Everton were awesome. Decore was fantastic. McNeil was great. They they had I think twenty percent possession, eighteen percent or twenty eight percent possession, and still won the game two 0 So, and Matson yeah. came on. This is actually the last thing. Matson <laughs> came on to close the ball down, and he yeah, turned Mattson. around. He literally made a U shape, and the ball fitted through his. The ball went past his hips. And if Roy Keane was a Chelsea fan, he'd be fucking fuming right now because the guy yeah. came out. Do you know when you come out and close it? Okay, you're protecting your genitals from the shot. That's but fine, the guy yeah. protected his genitals, then moved his arm up to protect his face. Then he turned to the side so there's a l- smaller surface area to aim at. And then he fucking ducked out of the way. And I was thinking like, uh, bro, why did you even go for it, bro? Why didn't you just stay where you were? The ball would have hit yeah, you yeah. if he stayed where you were. And he made it 2-0. Yeah. But it's, bro, it was it's awful. It's Everywhere, a lack of confidence. Every- it's a lack of confidence. Um, that that obvi- it's clear and obvious, by the way, for for Chelsea. Like, um, no one's no, no one's working. I mean, I'm looking at the stats here. Yeah, overall stats: 28% possession from Everton, 72% from Chelsea throughout the whole match, and 16 goal attempts. By the way, I've got on here. I don't know if this is made up or not, but I've got 16 goal attempts on here versus nine for Everton. Everton. So 16 no, for Chelsea, 9 made, for Everton. No, no, that's not made up. It's just not clinical. Just that's, not clinical enough. And just like not reading the game. And uh, shots off Enzo goal, had a 12, decent chance. So, yeah. Mudrick kind of squared the ball to him, went to the bar line, squared it off to him. And Enzo was a yard off it. Like he stopped. But rather than continue his movement, he would have got a better connection. He had to stretch away. So there's the goal attempt. And he's just all over the pitch, mate. We're just awful. But it just got me thinking this as well. And again, not trying to make excuses. I suppose it is an excuse, but just thinking maybe more for myself. You join a new company, right? And let's say there's 300 employees at that company. Yeah. Somebody says, you are, we're going to put a quiz team together. You're like, yeah, all right, let's do that. Whoever signs up, signs up. You're going to go there and around the table, nobody talks because you don't know who X is or Y is. Yeah. So you're going to get your phone out. When the question pops up, you're like, I think it's this. And somebody goes, no, nah, I think it's this. And then that kind of conflict tends to happen a little bit or you don't get hurt and you're like, all right, whatever. Whereas you look at the other teams who have been together three, four years, five years, only a player or two is added in and they've added characters, first of all. Yes, quality, but 
a decent character. Yeah. Declan Rice, let's use you as an example. Great lad, like you feel like you can talk to him, you feel like he's down to earth. Okay, a wonderful footballer. You look at our team, we've just bought players thinking like, oh, before so and so buys it, let's do this before so and so, let's buy the But that's and how just, it works. For that's fuck's sake, that, that's man, been he's that's bought been... twenty players, bro. Like he's bought twenty players. Like yeah. instead of coming in and saying, This is what works, let's tweak with it slowly. He's trying to reinvent the wheel and the only people suffering is the fans because tomorrow he'll probably leave. He'll still probably get 3.5 billion. He bought it for four, but you'll be like, ah, oh, fuck it. Let yeah, me leave. Not a big, yeah, not a, not a huge loss in the big context. Not a huge of things. Loss. Or some Arab will come in, some Arab state will come in and be like, yeah, here's four million, just four billion, just leave now. We don't yeah. care, just leave now. And it's the fans who will suffer because then again, it's another rebuild, it's another five years, it's yeah. another ten years. I heard a rumor that Chelsea legends are grouping together trying to get Todd Bowley to sell the club because they don't like how it's run. Didier, Terry, Lampard, Ashley Cole. I won't be surprised. I will not be surprised Rolf, at all. Johnson, you know, the yeah. list goes on and on. So I've like, you know, the Pires and on redo the same thing. So, yeah. yeah. So apparently that's what they that's what they kind of gain together and having a chat saying they just don't recognize Essien Mac, Mikhail. It oh, it goes on. It's all the ex, you know what I mean. Even back Di Matteo's and so on and so forth. But it's just like they just don't recognize who Chelsea is, and it's like you don't recognize who Chelsea is. Try watching it every week in week out and be like, what the fuck are we doing? Who's that yeah. fuck is? It's uh, that's where it's, we are. But it's nice. This I managed to get it, get a few things off my chest. So no, that's good. That's good. This is this is why we have this. Really, more than anything, this is why we have this to to vent if, frustrations. If you were so. me, by the way, right? Here's a quick question. If you were me, because obviously you know you start thinking, right? Let's change the manager because motivation for the players. If okay, every fan, you think to yourself, how can you not be motivated to play in front of fifty and so on? Who would you bring in? If you were me, who would you bring in? Sack Pochettino tomorrow. Like he's sacked. He's done. He's shit. He's done. Who would you bring in? And do I have like a choice of someone who's just available or? No, no, you're just available because you can't. Because okay, yeah, Arsenal, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Let Arteta go. Because I'm thinking the only the only person genuinely the only probably two people, maybe one person who could actually do really well with Chelsea is Pep Guardiola, because he is ruthless. He is ruthless. That's what mate, we mean, mate. What are you doing on that wing? You do you don't want to pass. You don't want to run. Or you're just gonna take players on. All right, you are benched, lad. You are benched. He did that with Foden. You know what I mean? And Foden was at the height of his powers when when uh, when Guardiola benched him. He was like, nah, do you know what, mate? Yeah, you're good, yeah, but you're not you're not up there yet. You're not there just yet. So sit down, sit down a second, and then you'll have your moment. Wait your turn. And guess absolutely. what? Yeah, and guess what? Fucking he has he's, he's had his moment. Foden's one of the best players in the Premier League. Or oh, I, I can consider him one of the best players in the Premier League. Mm, he I is agree. really, really good. And and for me, you need, or Chelsea need to have a manager like that. And unfortunately, unfortunately, there is literally only one Pep, Pep Guardiola. And I haven't heard any other manager who's like, oh, that's the next Pep. Do you know what I mean? Or like, no. oh, that he could be a close to Pep. See, there I, isn't. it's not even about being close to Pep. I think it's just people to have that quality like Pep. Yeah. You know, Mourinho had it initially when he first came, he was ruthless. He's like, you know what, you play for me, I'll go to I'll go to war with you. And he did. If he you did. don't, then you're dead to me so effectively and I will use yeah. you as a scapegoat all the time. And he was successful with us. When he United, it, it right. didn't work so much because Paul Pogba was more famous than he was. It doesn't matter. That kind of doesn't ma you know, of course, but I'm just saying... The last that. manager to win something with United, you know, that, that was Jose Mourinho. That is well. very true. Very, yeah. very true. So, and you Arteta know, did it with Aubameyang. Arteta fucked Aubameyang off. He said, the team come first, not you. And then they were successful. Yeah. I think you lost a couple of games. Everybody was like, he needs to forgive Aubameyang. Aubameyang yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring him back and all this stuff. But yeah. the club stuck with him, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think Todd will stick with him. If that happens, Pochettino is like, I'm dropping Jackson, Mudrick, uh, who else is that? Caicedo, Enzo's not performing. That's like, what are you talking about? That's 500 million that he's just dropped yeah, there. Like just drop 500 million, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, you don't drop, okay, 500 is exaggerated, but you know what I mean, right? I mean, they're enough, mate. Like, sure, enough. Enough. you've got two players with 200 million right there, so... 300 and 300 and something million, right? Yeah. And he's going to be like, I don't think he'll get backed. And that's at the minute, that's actually what they need. These big money players who are in on eight year contracts who think this is an easy holiday, send money home to South America, to Ukraine, because we're, we're minted for the next eight years, need to be dropped and be like, if you're not going to play, you stay where you are. And then that's when players then put their career before money, I think. I think. Well, not, just that, sorry. Back. It shows at that point who's going to put the who's going to put the career before the money. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah so I think it's and now the players going to fight for it. Are going to be like, it's okay, I'll it. sit here and do what Jaden Sancho's doing. And that's fine. You sit there, but you ain't playing again. Do you know what I mean? Jaden Sancho and Eric Ten Hag has actually made made that clear. It's like on 
Let's like you know, Jaden knows what what he needs to do if he wants to play again. He doesn't want to do it, or it doesn't seem like he's doing it. Again, this is from what we're hearing because I don't know what fucking Jaden no, no, is doing. Yeah, no, no. But from what I'm hearing, it's like you know, shit. He's right. If if he's not, if he knows what he needs to do and he's not doing it, then pff, why should you go to bat for him? Do you know what I mean? Why yeah. should a Pochettino be like? Oh, Mudrick, oh, look, mate, I know you're not playing that well, but you know what? I'll stick up for you. It's like, nah, mate, because you're going to cost me my job. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? If, that's uh, it. That's it. Do you know what I'm that's saying? And any that's, walk that's of life, isn't it? Like, any walk of life, if you've got people cost to me manage, job. cost me my job. You yeah, know, I'm sure absolutely. at your work as well, somebody does something, be like, bro, like, don't do that, because that's messing with my bread. And it's yes, the same no, thing it, here as well. Exactly, yeah. Exactly that. <laughs> and and, and I, though, as well, don't you think he just looks like he's desperate to be, like, one of the lads? You remember those guys, right, who were desperate to get with everybody? Go back to college, yeah. university. We've all got to school. These PE teachers, yeah, school we had the PE teachers, yeah, who try to be, Prime example, yeah. Secondary school PE teachers who try to be friendly yeah. with everyone. Yeah, now then and all this, like, yeah, man, it's all this, like, just relax yourself. You're my fucking teacher. Like, I'm not your partner. Yeah, yeah. Call me fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, that's it, And that's this it, is what I think it. Pochettino is because those teachers never had the respect of those guys. The ones who had the respect are the ones who were strict, who you're like, oh no, I can't do this. Because uh, we used to have a science teacher called Four Teeth. I've missed the Four Teeth, right? Nice. Shout out if you do listen, nice. by the way, who knows? <laughs> but, uh, this is going back. Don't make a long yourself known. Don't make yourself known. Don't this smile at me. Time ago. Yeah, that's it. Why are you smiling? <laughs> like, just relax. <laughs> you don't even know who Ricky is. <laughs> Why is someone oh. playing target practice with your teeth? Almost What's going on here, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that scene in Home Alone when uh, in Home Alone One when Kevin's got the, his brother's uh, little air rifle and he's shooting the little uh, the little army men? Figurines, yeah. Yeah, little figurines. That's what. That's literally what. That, first thing that <laughs> popped in my head when he said teeth teeth. Yeah, That's <laughs> literally. <yeah. laughs> But no, what I was trying to get at is, right, he was super strict, but everybody respected him. And in in he had the respect, not the fear. Okay, there was some elements of fear in there because you didn't want to be shouted at, but he had everybody's respect. Whereas the PE teacher, who was pally-pally, friendly-friendly, you know, you felt like you could get away with anything. I'm not doing PE today, sir. Why not? Don't have my shoes. I don't have my kit. I'm not fancying it. Oh, we're doing rugby. Oh, we're doing cross country. Nah, if it's not football, so I'm not doing it. Yeah, no worries, mate. You can sit out, sit this one out. You know what I mean? No respect. You felt like you could get away with anything. That's how I feel at the minute with Chelsea. It's and no it's not because we've lost two in the bounds. It's simply because of watching that training session. Where is the coaching staff not disciplined those players? Be like, guys, are you taking the piss? This is, no, no, we don't do that here. We compete here for that starting 11. Yeah. There's no pally pally right now. We compete. And this is a bit that we just don't compete in any single one-on-one -on -one duels, matches, rondo on the training pitch. There's nothing for us, man. I mean, there's it's re it's a really dark time to be a Chelsea fan. I mean, a really really dark time to be a Chelsea fan. But you know, hopefully, Todd's learned. The manager needs to come make the decisions, and we'll see what there's rumours. <laughs> No, Fuck, no, no don't, don't get into the room. Don't, don't get into the rumors, man. Don't because you'll. Ossiemi you'll you apparently coming to Chelsea. Ossiemi, you know, like uh, Ossiemi. Ossiemi, sorry, not Ossiemi. Ossiemi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you think to yourself, why? For what purpose? Yeah. Yeah. We don't and need. And how much is that going to cost as well? Do you know what I mean? For, for someone who's going to be. Million. And all that means then is that Conor Gallagher, Reese James, these lads who played for Chelsea need to be sold so you can meet financial fair. Yeah. 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 And I, I don't think I don't think that's where you start with by, uh, with rebuilding a team. To be honest, you don't no. get rid of your actual players who have been there for a long time or you know come through your academy and like you said, a proper Chels. Um But I'd, yeah, I think I I don't I don't think getting rid of Pochettino is the answer. I'll be honest with you. Um, no, I don't think so neither. It just because he, he, it just resets it to to the same thing as it was when Pot came, when Graham Potter came in, and yeah. you don't you definitely can't. Afford afford to do that like, sorry Can't I don't mean afford to, to do that back in. no 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 and I don't mean afford that in terms of like financial whatever because obviously they clearly got a lot of money that they're throwing around but you know as a, as a team yeah as a team and as as the table goes you know in, in that context cannot afford to keep hitting and reset every single half a season you just you can't do it. it. It's it's not it's 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 not uh, stable enough for for a team. And yeah. and guess what? Nothing's going to change. It's going to be going to have exactly the same problems at least for the next six years, seven years, however long some of these players are there for. Like you know, it's long. So time, so it's I, I look. I, I the feel thing is, if you've got I, the money, I, right? Drop them. Drop him, like drop yeah. Mudrick. Mudrick's not performing, drop him. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm saying sell, we're saying him. drop, isn't it? Yeah, we're saying drop. drop. bro. Don't even sell, loan him out for free. Just be like, yeah. here, go get some experience. You know what? I'll pay the club to take you. I'll pay Nottingham Forest to take you for go five Luton. Go Luton, bro. Go you're going to get a game of Luton, yeah. yeah. You're going to get me a game of Luton, there, yeah. 
exactly. Get I, different I coaching agree. styles. Go somewhere else. Go abroad. Do something. Just him. But again, it's the big money. I think as well, you know, again, another rumour. Apparently, there's three players that Chelsea cannot drop. And the three players are the big money signings. Two boys in the middle and Mudrick. Todd wants to see them every day. But if that's the case, then does Pochettino not have a spine? Does he not have a backbone? But this is what I'm saying, what I said to you earlier about the conversation that must have been had, right? You know, it's like, you know, if you're agreeing to that job, unless Pochettino was very, very desperate for a job, you know, he should have been saying that. It's like, look, I've seen at least one of these players play and it's like, he's not good enough for this club. You know, he may be good enough in a couple of years' time, but right now you cannot rely on him to be your starting 11 week in, week out. Yeah, You just can't. And again, Mudrick's coming off the bench. Right. Was that meant to like scare me or something? Do you know what exactly. I mean? like, it's literally that. I'm meant to shoot my pants or something. Like, what's going on it, here? You know? It just means we're 10 down. Players today, we're not passing to him because he's losing the ball that often. And that there was, was one surprised. pass Conor Gallagher made five yards in front of him, five to seven yards. When you, I don't think he'll make the highlights, obviously. But he was five to seven yards in front of him, and he just like looked at it. I was like, "Yeah, I can't get that." And I was like, "You can't? What do you mean you can't get that, bro? You run at thirty-five kilometers an hour, or thirty-seven got recorded that time. Yeah. Just sprint and get the ball. We need yeah. you to fight for every ball. It's not like the perfect pass to your feet or a yard to the left or right." You need to fight for everything. Conor Gallagher put the ball into space. Against Man United, you were running into space. We put it into space and now you're not running. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, can you just, you know, you need to combine both of them, you know, and I, I, I look, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that you guys, that you guys fell for, for, for the whole Madrid ask to Arsenal thing because Todd Bowley fell for that hard. I don't even know if it's a false. I think because you guys were willing to pay 80, I think we just offered more money in, uh, in a longer contract. I think that's what it was. And then, I think you offered 70, just, we offered 80. The lucky stars. You offered 80, we offered 90 or some shit like that. And then they were like, okay, he's going to, ch- obviously, as a pl- club, you want to sell him to the biggest club. But I've got another Arsenal fan, uh, a mate of mine who's, and he just messaged me, he's like, I am so glad we dodged that bullet. And I was like, which one, the Caicedo? Yeah. I said I was like, which one, the Caicedo or the Mudrick? And he was like, both. And I was like, both. mate, oh they are God, both so 200 glad. million worth of talent and they're just they're bang average. Bang and average. We, what did we pay for Trossard? 25 million, 27 million, something like that? Listen, I won't even look at Trossard. Look at flipping Doku at City. Yeah. Look at yeah. Doku. Yeah. I won't even look anywhere else. Just look at Doku and what he's doing. And you think to yourself, yeah. how is like, what? How did you skip Lille in Belgium and France yeah. and you went all the way to Ukraine? Like, what was it? Were you trying to... I don't know, Brad. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, Obviously, it's, we don't want to get into it. You know, I'll be going grey a lot sooner and getting older than I already am because of the stress. But like I said to you, now it's become a point where I kind of expected to lose. And if we do predictions against Sheffield, I'll be honest with you, I never want to pick my team to lose. But unfortunately, I think we will probably lose again. Cause, no, cause you'll win, you'll win the game against that. Sheffield. We, do, we, do, we don't. Against the lesser teams, we don't. The new manager bounce has been positive for them. We, yeah. we we drew against you guys when we should have beat you. And of course, we've discussed it. But then we went and got beat by Nottingham Forest. And you yeah. think, where's that performance a week ago? Why is it not now? And the teams who sit there with a low block, we can't do nothing. Yeah. Nothing. The only reason yeah. we looked a bit can't dangerous today is because there's no urgency in the passing. Yeah. In order to break low blocks, ball's got to be fizzed into a plane. Straight it's got to move quickly. First time touch, bang, bang, bang. One yeah. touch, maximum a two touch if it's yeah. a bad pass, but one touch all the time. All the time. And movement, by the way, from. not just passing, because we can pass left to right, but you've got to move. That's what Spurs did so well today. They've got their full backs. Yeah, they did. They played fair, fair point on, yeah. game, you think I watched bits of it. I watched bits of that. Okay. Just called the goal. I was like, my guy, if a Colwell, a Cuckoo, a Reese James, whoever makes the pass, goes, I'll stay here in my position. Bro, you don't need to stay there. Like, there is nobody. Yeah. There's no danger. There's no, reason just, for you, there's no reason for you to be there. Yeah, so, yeah. And like so, you said, Richarlison scored twice today, just making those did. moves. And um, yeah, look, look, I feel for you. I really do because obviously, you know, it's it's such a, it's such a downfall. And and strategically, you know, in terms of football and uh, like you know managing a football team yeah. strategically, it's just such a bad such bad moves have been made at Chelsea and again you've got an owner who's saying who's supposedly saying that you know you've got three players that can't be dropped and it's I really hope that's not true but it seems to be true at the minute because these three players are playing from what's been said yeah from what's been heard or whatever it is rumours or whatever but yeah those that that is not a strategy for a winning team because you know the coach is there the, the Pochettino is there watching the match live and he should be willing to make those changes and shouldn't have to be forced to keep certain players on and look 
I don't care how much you spend for these players. You know what I mean? You, you just get rid of them. PSG, they haven't won any any Champions League because they they weren't willing to drop a Neymar or whatever it, it is. You know what I mean? Or oh, willing to oh, buy a Neymar for two hundred million when he was past it. The average exactly. version of Neymar for two hundred is is us buying Mudrick for eighty ninety million. Yeah. An average version yeah. of this left winger, who's yeah. quick by the way. When he chooses to, but that's that's you know again it, like, it shows. Walcott was quick. He wasn't. Yeah, yeah. I, I, again, I've said to you before how I feel about Walcott. People like Arsenal fans, you know, always rated him and like, oh, this and this. Shit. Never like, awful. never like Walcott. I that's think he it. had speed. No that's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's absolutely nothing. But again, it shows that you know someone like a Todd Bowley, an American, he's you know he's watching football and he's like. Oh, that guy's fast. He thinks it's American he's, football. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Four, yeah that, that's yeah. literally what I was going to say. He took the words Linebackers out and wide receivers. And it's like, dude, we don't do that here. Do you know what I mean? They have no offside there. We have offsides here. He can't just wait up there for the ball. You know, he has to do something. He has to play around with the players that he's got that he, he needs to do that one two, uh, what is it, one two pass sort of thing. You know what I mean? Pass the ball, get get a move. That's get it. Get into space, that's run behind. And that's that's literally what he was bought for to run behind. And You've just uh, reminded me of another thing when you watch the game, by the way. keep If you watch the extended highlights, keep an eye on Mudrick. He just looks lost when the ball's on the left. He's like, do I hug the line? Do I drop short? Do I cut inside? And he looks so lost. He feels he like not. he needs a one to one coach to be with him and be like, when the ball is here, this is what you do. When the ball is here, this is what you do. If the ball is around this area, this is what you do. And he doesn't seem to want to do it at all. And like I said to your players, then just stop passing to him. There, but it comes let me back read you. To, sorry, one. real quick. Let me. Sorry to interrupt, but let me read you a quick little message that I sent to the group on Wednesday. Right. Go on. Mate, Mudrick is all over the place. Looks lost. <laughs> That's literally exactly. what I'm... And I've typed that in, Mudrick lost right there. Hang on, did I... Is that just the only one? Or is there another one? I oh, no, that's the, yeah, I, yeah, that's I, the only I one. I thought, thought there was another yeah, one. I can't one remember, but, but yeah. But basically that, you've already seen it then. Yeah, he just looks He looks lost and he doesn't know... It, it looks like he's got no intent. Like there's no... Yeah. You know, every team plays as there's an intent in what you're doing. You're trying yeah. to achieve something, move the ball further up the pitch, create one-on-one -on -one situations, create two-on-one -on -one situations, you know what I mean? Overload the left and so on. Mudrick is just like, okay, the ball's come to me. I guess I'll run. Or I'll cut inside. And it's just... It seems... <sighs> It and, seems like Enzo there's no actual strategy, you know, there's no strategy but of what, what you're supposed to, to do. That's not Todd, though, right? That's the coach. It's but, Christmas but, now. But saying that, it's Todd, yes, and Poch obviously does make the uh, does make the, the team, and uh, the, sorry, and the strategy, but, but if he's not if he's not allowed to drop certain players who fuck up his strategy, that what's is, he going to do? Yeah, exactly. That, you know? That's a very what's good point. What's he going to do? Sir, but... what's, we look, we, you we, can't, we you have gone backwards a couple of years. It's no, what's happened is we have come into new money, you know when people come into new money, yeah. a working class family wins the lottery, and all of a sudden there's they're wearing Louis Vuitton and Versace bathrobes, which for no and reason. Sudden, and then Versace get, bathrobes they, that you could get for three hundred, but they're like, no, I'll pay you three grand, mate. Don't even worry about it. I'll give you three grand. I've got loads of money. Here's three grand. And then all of a sudden they like, get divorced, shit. and it's like, wait, you've been married for thirty plus years, you just got divorced because of, you don't know how to handle the new money. That's that's literally that's, literally, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. But Ole became a director of football at Chelsea. Did not know how to negotiate anything. He was like, yeah. how much? Yeah. Oh, oh Arsenal gonna win. Oh no, quick before Arsenal wanted let's buy it that's the strategy that was the strategy for for, for the transfers. why didn't we not let you buy Caicedo you would never have gone for Declan Rice we would have bought Declan no, never, Rice never, come yeah. to us because obviously he's a Chelsea lad as well like and his dad supports Chelsea and his dad would be like oh, I'll go play for the club That, but again I'm glad he's not because we dropped. We didn't want him when he was a young kid. It's just, it's just so much to kind of, but you know, yeah. it'd be right. Yeah, we've it's just gone. Got, like look, you said earlier, it's gone. It's finished. We move on. We look we forward to, to Sheffield. On, yeah. That's why we have these discussions, you know, for, for, for this exact reason, so we can move on and uh, live the rest of our normal lives. Yes. You know what I mean? You go back not to getting, being a husband yeah. and a father. and uh... Not getting paid 250 grand a week. So, you know, that's uh, that's that's the thing, really. But, yeah, I think, oh, yeah, we've discussed pretty much everything that we need to, to on Chelsea over over the past two seasons, no, really, exactly. you know, and, and three managers. Two seasons and three managers, man. You can't, that is not 1. the answer. 1.25 bill, I think it is, or 1.1 billion later. Collectively, yeah. 30 players and you think to yourself what the fuck like yeah. I know our friend said to me when I mentioned this is Todd's fault for all of this and he was like oh you praise him for so long ago for finding a loophole on FFP and it's true you praise him when he does good thing you found a loophole bro you like found the loophole fantastic. that's what you praise him on yeah yeah found the loophole I didn't but praise not the players that you picked anything up. else yeah, exactly yeah, nothing else. but that's found fair. the loophole that's sound because imagine like, if you found we, if you can we buy Messi or can we get flipping Haaland for 300 yeah. million yeah. in, in <clears throat> And use the fucking loophole. Don't get me fucking Jackson to use a loophole. Yeah. When you yeah, look at highlights, why did you get Mbappe? 
Or get Mbappe, yeah, get fucking Mbappe. Because get Harry Kane. Forget fucking could have Mbappe. Afforded get both Harry of them. Kane. Mbappe get and Harry Kane, Mbappe. by the way. Exactly. Mbappe, yeah. Harry Kane, and some other prick. And Thomas Tuchel would have still been manager, for example. He should have who had, been who had the anyway. respect of the players. Right he now, should, there's yeah. so many new players. I don't even know what the fuck Pochettino is. Pochettino is a PE coach right now. Let's say with that. He's not Dougie Fortieth, I'm telling you. <laughs> He's literally a PE teacher. That's what he is. Yeah, that's exactly who he is. And um, it's, like I said, I, I don't really want to, you know, go any further with, with this because nah. it's been. No, it's been talked to death, but but yeah, I don't think getting rid of the manager is uh, is the right answer. Not in yet. All honesty, not so. yet. I think if we don't win a game, especially these next five games, let me have a quick look at who we've got next, and I will tell you if we don't win these next five games or four games before New Year, we're in a relegation battle, and he will have to go, and then we might have to bring in a big Sam. Like literally, he's getting. I think well, maybe Big Sam is taking the piss, but you bring somebody in who actually doesn't give a fuck about the players. I don't care if you're a young. This is the thing. All of our players are young millionaires, bro. They're eighteen, nineteen, yeah. and they know I've that money's this. coming in regardless. Yeah, I've said this. We, that's the first year, thing we said that at the beginning year, of the season. Be like they'd get five grand a week until they're like twenty-two, and even then it'll be ten grand. Now they're like a yeah. hundred grand a week at eighteen for the next eight years. Yeah, but no, no we've got a. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. So we've go got on, go on. Sheffield at home, Wolves away, which will get beat by Wolves. Palace at home will probably scrape a draw. Luton away, we will get beat by Luton. If Luton play like they did against you in City, we will be beat by Luton because we can't score. Yeah. Fulham at home and Fulham are hitting some form. And then last game of the year. Oh, no, sorry, that's 31st of January. So last game of the year is Luton. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah, Luton, the last game of the year. So you got Wolves, Palace and Luton. Uh, uh, sorry, and Newcastle. Yes, Newcastle EFL Cup, but that's we're talking Premier League strictly, so... Yeah, Premier League strictly. We'll probably beat Newcastle because they'll be exhausted from flipping up so many games. The Newcastle look drained, by the way. I don't know if you saw I that, think... but moving on from Chelsea, yeah, they yeah. look drained. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's literally the main reason they lost to be honest with you because um, they just didn't offer anything at all like nothing there was no movement there was I didn't hear any Newcastle players like doing anything and it just goes down to, to exhaustion and you can't blame well sorry you can't blame obviously because you know at the end of the day they should be professionals and you know they should be up to that physical standard but you can't blame them because you know they, they've entered a new competition in their, they're in a new era of, of the club and yeah. they're playing midweek games and then they're playing weekend and then back to midweek games you know so the, and their injuries as well, by the way, as well. So exactly. it's like more or less the same 11 every week. It's the same 11. And exactly. they're running, these guys are running 10K a game, 10 to 12K a game. It's, you think to yourself, fuck, madness. That's crazy. So me and you sitting here, somebody said to you, let's do a 5K. Not even 10 to 12, let's do 5K. I'll be like, yeah, right, I'll do it. And then three days later, come here, let's do 5K. You'll be like, you are we fucking mind? I wouldn't I'm not even doing do another 3K, one. I wouldn't even do fucking 3K, but, but yeah, but you're, right. 3K <laughs> no, you're right. Three K every three days. You're right, you're right. Imagine three K every three days or four days. You think, no. like, fuck that, I'm not doing it again. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. No, no, I, and I agree with you. But I think so. I think that's why Newcastle obviously struggled today. And again, they made Tottenham look amazing. But because look, if you're not running back and tracking your tracking your your players, tracking your runners. Guess what? You are going to lose the match, and that's 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 exactly what's going to happen. So again, the fact that Richarlison scored twice in this match it goes to show for me that top, uh, Newcastle just never even showed. You're not happy it. about that, are you? I guess I'm not happy about that at all because he fucking scored twice, and it's like, are you kidding me? How are you letting Richarlison get into your box and scoring? By the way, but look. That's why, and you know, but, uh, what was the second half came with you? By the they way, changed. Um, uh, I'm praise, I'm praising Ange. Uh, he saw he didn't do very well against Son. Was pretty much useless up top against Newcastle. Dropped Sonny on the left, put Kolosevsky as a ten for a bit more creativity and running at defenders. And it felt for me it felt like as if it worked. Joe Linton and what's his name, Bruno didn't really know what they were doing in that middle of the park the young kid who's 17 year old bless him he's the Miley, I say bless him. him yeah Miley yeah. he's doing all right but it was just too much because Odoji kept coming in and this is another thing when left back and right backs overload the midfield uh, and the words are when there's already three or four midfielders there, who marks who yeah. who marks who because they're all struggling because the left back is coming in because they all seem to want I don't, yeah it's it's tricky and to be fair I praise Ange for that Ange did really well Son was fantastic scored me a shitload of points on FPL I think I'm second now I'm not 100% but uh, yeah uh, well done Ange well done that's, the cog. That, okay, that's fair enough I mean I can't I'm, unfortunately I can't sit here and agree with you on that because I just didn't see anything different from from Tottenham apart from the fact that they faced a very weak Newcastle and when Newcastle was weak and they were tired but I do think those slight changes made a difference maybe I'm looking at that thinking I wish we had those slight changes instead of all the changes so maybe I've got my Chelsea glasses on 
but yeah, no, Newcastle played well. But quick, quick thought on Man United before obviously we wrap things up tonight. Yes, quick thought, lol, and uh, well, let's move on from that. <laughs> Let's move away from it, really. <laughs> I think he'll get sacked. I think he's going to get sacked by. I can't wait. I can't wait for ten fraud to get sacked. Galatasaray is going to knock him. Galatasaray, sorry, Bayern are going to beat him at Old Trafford. Yeah. Then they've got Liverpool next, and there's no Bruno in that middle of the park. So there's another. You could see another L coming his way. Is just not looking good for Man United at all. The smile on my face is on. You know, I can't. I can't hide it. You know, it's you just, undeniable. You just, right now. It, you just can't hide it, can you? I can't. I can't hide it. I cannot can it. Basically, and then it's I can't, can't West Ham by. The, oh my god. Oh my it's, god. Come on, ten fraud. Come on, Tuesday, ten fraud. Please, 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 please. Away. West Ham away, which they'll probably have to get the coach to West Ham because you know the same thing they did in Newcastle, and then uh, Tuesday night again against Aston Villa, Boxing Day. Mm. Villa at Old Trafford mm. I, I can't see them winning to be honest with you maybe West Ham but other than that I can't even then I can't see West Ham get rolling over at uh, what's it called the Hammer Stadium whatever the new one is the Olympic Park or whatever it's referred to as <sighs> Rick look <laughs> look can I just <laughs> honestly I, I cannot wait I love watching Man United play right now because every single match, apart from the Chelsea match, was again because you guys just made them look Which fucking I know. unbelievable. It looked look like it. the all nine Barcelona team, by the way. What the fuck? We're literally but, uh, the all nine Barcelona, yeah. It's you know, apart from that game, Manchester United are worse. Like I can, I in a way, in terms of the lack of the lack of flexibility from the manager and the lack of the sort of ideas from the manager, I kind of relate them to Spurs. But the good thing is for Spurs is that they're on they're on a good run right now. You know they've got a new manager, so they kind of all have to play at least in the first season. But honestly, I, shit, I cannot wait for Ten Hag to get to get sacked. I genuinely cannot wait because it's about it's it yeah it's just a matter of time before it's that happens. It's fraud, isn't it? It's fraud. What is doing? I'm telling you, now. every time fraud. I'm telling you. I found it really time. funny how uh, for this November they won uh, goal of the month, manager of the month, and player of the month. Harry Maguire got player of the month <laughs> or something. Yeah. And then that week, and when they all received their trophies, they conceded three goals against Bournemouth. It's unreal. And you just think, just by the way, Bournemouth praise to four them. goals by the way, four goals they conceded again. Oh, no, so it was three nil. The it was three nil at the end, but the, honestly, it was that fucking close to being four there. Oh, was they it? managed it was to it go they, to find the back of the net four times against the player of the fucking month, Harry Maguire. I fucking unbelievable. Fucked up and put Anana in goal. I was like, oh, against Bournemouth. Nah, bro, come Chelsea. on, don't. I put Anana in goal. I'm taking that cunt out straight away. What are you on doing? On FPL, I took him. You shouldn't out. have any Man United player up. in there, apart from McTominay now and again. Scott yeah, McTominay now and again, you know. Dan, uh, but yeah, yeah, um, honestly, no. unbelievable. Hoyland, um, Hoyland still hasn't scored, has he? Has oh, United scored. still hasn't scored in the Prem. That's just like, pfft. yeah, they're, they're, they're in trouble honestly. to be honest with you. I know that. I know that. F- then it looks less trouble or less worrying than Chelsea because we're 12th, by the way, and United, I think, are the sixth, seventh, wherever the fuck they are. But they're in trouble. <sighs> They are in such big trouble. So hold on, where where's United? Right now? Let me have a quick look. I'm just looking at this. So they are sixth right now, and they are literally a point above Brighton and Newcastle, who are just behind them. Yeah. So yeah, and and yeah. And they play Liverpool next. So let's say Brighton and Newcastle win next games. Liverpool obviously are going to beat them because it's at That's Anfield. It. Drops down to eighth. A great game, Super Sunday. Drop down to eighth, but if if West Ham win as well, whoever West Ham are playing, um, and Man United lose, yeah. literally Man yeah. United will if drop they win to by ninth. one goal. They will yeah, drop, down drop to, to ninth. ninth, just like that. And now Hilarious. to the Champions League, ninth in the Premier League, and still facing. Ah, oh, it's tough. It's tough for it's them. It's hilarious. Them. It's good. Honestly, Long I, may can't, I can't wait. Long may continue. Um, a quick quick thing on Liverpool. Obviously, you know, I, I was quite happy when uh, they were one nil down and then you know they do what they do which is we've always said so again I had I had I was I was not surprised basically when they won that match against Palace um, but it all changed after Jordan Ayew got uh, sent off after that moment that's it they scored the equaliser and then obviously I think it was a penalty that they uh, oh no sorry it was uh, Elliot scored from the outside yeah, good goal yeah, as well by yeah. the way Decent good goal. goal I saw the goals but I didn't watch the match no no they're doing no. good stuff and to be fair it's so. good for the Prem isn't it City, Arsenal, Liverpool going at it maybe throw a bit of sp- a sprinkle of Aston Villa in there hey hey Unai Emery good evening doing fantastic doing, 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 doing brilliant good. out there but, uh, so good no, it's Prem, bro. really good, good for the Prem isn't it and obviously very good the next for the couple Prem, of games sure. 
So yeah, it's, it's it's interesting. I'm just just for me, obviously, it's sad my team's not there. But anyway, fuck it. You can't I can't have everything, can you? I'm no, you hoping, can't. I'm hoping it's my impossible. team would walk away with it, but that's not going to happen for the next couple of years. Until <laughs> I'm, I'm even least, I'm this close least, to debate you know? and bring Jose Mourinho back. That's where I'm at. I mean, bring I was, Jose back so he doesn't even take any shit and just be like, no, no, no. My contract is too big. You're not going to sack me. Um, this is the way I'm playing. Yeah. So fuck you. Yeah, and, and I think if if Jose went, I think Jose, the first thing that he would say to them is, you know, to Bolly, he's like, look, mate, either I'm going to do it my way, or don't even bother hiring me because you're just going to lose a lot of money with the contract that you're going to pay me out it. for. That's it. Do you and think that's that the maybe that's what it. a lot of other managers did, and Pochettino took it because he might have been desperate? He I, probably I came in because I, I can, that, honestly, uh, yeah. honestly, I just think now the more I think about it, like every manager goes into a club and says, "I need a centre back." I've seen what you've done. Yeah, it's good. However, the, I need this player to go to the next level. Did you know? Luis Enrique turn it down because of of apparent of supposedly similar reasons? I believe so. I believe so. I believe so. Can you argue with him now? No. You, you can't argue with anyone. You do you not want to take the Chelsea now. job at the minute. You cannot take. No. We are going to get very close to what you got. have. You got those banners. I'm going to turn him inside out and change Cronky to Bowley and, <laughs> and I need those fuckers. I'm about to go over there now. Shit, shit is getting difficult. I can't take another season of fucking transitioning and rebuilding and. Trying the process because I know what's happening in January. We've probably got 20 players lined up to come in. Ready to go. Ready to fucking go. Instead players? of going the other way around, I'm actually getting rid of 20 fucking players, which again, easily you could, to be honest. You can easily get rid of at least four players, which will be a huge loss in terms of finances. But you would, yeah, definitely. Enzo Fernandez should never have been bought. Um, Caicedo, Caicedo okay, never been bought. not for that price. Not for that price. Not for that. Buy him, less than 50 price. million easy but easily. even buy him why easily. like he's not doing anything for us he's literally making five yard passes could no, Conor Gallagher like, make five yard passes considering how he was at Brighton then yeah, yeah, yeah fair yeah, enough yeah, yeah. buy him but not at that price nowhere near that price not even half of that price to be honest with you consult the manager bro like anything else Arteta gets consulted uh, on what player to sign you know yeah, who do you need he when he, every, he everybody laughed when he was like oh I want uh, what's his name Jorginho when uh, covered yeah, but, you know, he does all right with him. He knows what he wants out of those players. Ben White, Aaron Ramsdale, Takahiro Tomiyasu, three players that, again, never would I have thought that Arsenal would ever go for for at all. And for the price, again, Ben White was 50 million. That yeah, was yeah, the yeah, first yeah, guy to be like, like what, what the fuck the is he hell? doing? Yeah. Fucking 50 million. Who the fuck is this guy? Hey, I changed my tune real quick. Real Absolutely. quick. Do you know what Absolutely. I mean? But he knows Which what he's doing. Obviously, these guys yeah. are elite managers. They've got the elite coaching stuff with them. We so, have our opinion to obviously to talk to talk about what what the manager's doing, but then once once they sort of like prove you wrong, and you can clearly see they proved you wrong. It's like all right, cool man, sure. No, I was wrong. I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll the first person up. to admit it as well. Yeah. yeah. Like Takahiro Tomiyasu is like, who the fuck is that guy from, from where from that's fucking it. Bologna? Like, who the fuck is this guy? Yo, he's one of our best fucking players. Absolutely. Leandro Trossard over Mudrick. And you're telling me Mudrick is fucking fast as fucking 80 million and you're going to buy Leandro fucking Trossard? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, right. Oh, that's good. Thanks. Thanks. I see thanks. why you I did tell- what you did. Thanks. Exactly. Yeah. thanks, Big Mick. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's, oh, yeah, unfortunately for Chelsea, it's not. It's 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 gone the opposite. But anyway, look, um, do you have anything else that you want to add, by the way, for the uh, for the Premier League over nothing, the last uh, two nothing, game weeks? Nothing. I think we've gone... I think we've gone on, on a little bit long, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Instead of doing predictions for the Champions League, we'll come back on Thursday yeah, and we'll discuss we'll the Champions League. It. Yeah, we'll, just yeah, recap, we'll recap it. And laugh at Man United once uh, Bayern knock them out. So, great fuck stuff. I cannot stop, wait. Because I, I think that's where I'm only getting my joy at the minute is Man United losing. Because I've got nothing else on my team. Well, not the same for you, Dick. And you can no, 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 sorry. Team. I mean, like, I'm, it's, I mean, this week especially. Like, oh, same week as in, like, you, especially it's like, yeah, do you know what? Cool. But then again, Tottenham ruined it by winning. So, it's like, come on, Tottenham. What the fuck? You let me down. <laughs> You've gone you, against... You've cursed, Castle. You've cursed Newcastle. Since you said, I hope they lose every game for Newcastle, they've not gone on a winning and streak. I'm, and lost. I meant that. Who did they get beat by? They got beat by Everton. Yeah, Everton the, beat them. So Spurs since, beat them. That's two and two now. They've got the two Wells and the so Champions League defeat as well. Oh, oh, I draw in the Champions League. Beat before Everton. we leave, before Look, we leave, let me have a look at the results. So much, bro. Like, it's a North I East team. We love, so, we love the North East. Nah, North we don't. East. Nah, screw them. Um, screw them after them fucking after oh, that after cheating that. shit so after the Arsenal win which again you know debatable but whatever uh, they lost to Dortmund in the Champions League they lost to Bournemouth uh, they That's won against it, Chelsea Bournemouth. fair enough obviously Cost. whatever everybody seems to win against us so that doesn't count we'll, we'll erase yeah, that we'll they, that, drew yeah. against, they drew against PSG they beat Man United hey I'm always up for that we'll, we'll have <laughs> to that yeah we'll have that they lost to Everton and they lost to Tottenham so you know what it hasn't been good at all since that Newcastle one yeah. two Three, four, four losses out of two seven, victories, uh, out of seven matches. So, yeah. 
yeah, hey, look, karma's a bitch, bro. Karma's it's a bitch, you, and it will bro. get you. I'm telling you, it's I don't you. Care. You need to start I, I, speaking into existence that Chelsea are going to turn good. You know what I mean? That's what I'm, I need from I'm you. I'm always, I'm always rooting for you guys. As <laughs> in, like, uh, you know, my predictions are always Chelsea wins most, mostly anyway. You know? Nah, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll see what it's like against so, Sheffield Wednesday, but uh, yeah, it's not looking good at all. But no, no, no we'll, be, we'll be back. We'll be back during the week. Perfect, perfect. Uh, right, thank you so much for listening, for bearing with us over obviously it's nearly an hour and forty minutes, so we will get this out for people. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay alert.